Nah. Oh, let, let me open up the show with this. Charlie Clips is yeah. a fucking monster. Fuck all that extra shit. Charlie Clips oh, is a motherfucking monster. Oh, man, see the match? Oh, my God. Oh, Charlie Clips, man. <laughs> like Casita came in. Don't get me wrong, Casita did a whole lot better in this battle than he did in the um in the in the Hitman battle. And he had some solid rounds, especially his first round. His first round was crazy, but Charlie just edged him every round. Like it was just crazy. He was his, he was freestyling. That it was just it was crazy. His weakest round was his third. Um, you can see the third. Round. Um, but Charlie is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Charlie definitely, but uh, you know, Charlie always wins his king of the dot battles. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's almost like I'm when DNA is over I'm there. there so. Yeah, I never lose over. I never see him lose on king of the dot. Nah, and he won't. I mean, I mean, I think that's when he's in his comfort zone. You know, um, like, yeah, that, I mean, that was a great battle. That was a great matchup. Um, you know, that was one of the best matchups from Blackout. Um, I remember we talked about Past Day versus Disaster. I wasn't that big. I know Thesaurus versus Sharon comes out next week. Um, so, like, yeah, I mean, Clips always kills it, though. Like, when doesn't Clips uh, kill it? And to me, Conceit has been falling off a little bit. So, it was, it was kind of like, it showed, like, both of it. Like, Conceited falling off a little bit. Charlie <laughs> Clips proving his hunger. I thought Casita was on top of his game for the most part. He just, I just, just unfortunately for him, so was Charlie. And you know, uh, 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 Charlie at a at a at a hundred percent is better than Casita at a hundred percent in his show. Because I don't think it was so much the fact that Casita was I, bad. I don't think that was necessarily Casita at a hundred percent. I Casita was spitting some shit, son. Like, let's not get it fucked up. Conceded was spitting some shit in that battle. Right? Yeah, but I don't think that's conceded at 100%, though. Well, why wouldn't you think that? Just out of curiosity, like, why saying, wouldn't you think that? Like, conceded at 100% is conceded versus Immaculate. That's conceded at 100%. Um, you think so, conceded like, was, was... I mean, I well, think I, I think I conceded was spitting... This is the best conceded I saw in a while. Like, he was, he was spitting some shit. Up in that up in that battle, like he, especially that, like I said, that first round was crazy. That first round he said was crazy. Um, the slower downs he had in there was crazy throughout the whole course of the battle. I, like he was on he was on top of his shit. Like he was he wasn't whack at all. Like he was he was he was fit. like against another motherfucker he would have won. He would have won against another motherfucker with those bars. That that was all. Uh, uh, if Charlie Chris went in that bitch sleeping, and he went in there half assing it, he would have lost that day. Like. I don't think it was bad. I just think Charlie edged him every round. That's more that's that, that's more so that Charlie, you know, uh, 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 you know, that dude when he's on top of his shit, more so than the fact that Casita, you know, what I mean, is falling off. I don't, I don't necessarily agree with that. Mm, I, I I agree with you, but I I, I will say that uh, Clips that win that battle. Crazy battle. Um, yeah, I agree with you that Clips is a monster. Uh, like, uh, you know, when Clips wants to put on his his A game, you know, he's 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 damn near unstoppable. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, in other rap related news, not not really battle rap, but you know, um, Steve Stout. Uh, you know, made a statement talking about Fifty Cent. I don't know if you you heard about this. And, nah, well, you know, he kind of said, like, well, his thing was pretty much, like, 50 hasn't been influential. And, like, he's had a couple hit records, but he hasn't really been influential in the rap game in a long time. Um, 50 Cent took offense to it, uh, addressed them, like, at courtside of the basketball game. There was pictures, you know, and 50 got in his face. Now, my question for you is this. Does 50 have a reason to be mad? Because what Steve Stout was saying is not really, is not really lies. The truth. Steve is telling not, the truth, not far you know. From the truth. Yeah, it's not far from the truth. I mean, in my eyes, you know, 50 had one classic album, and it was a classic. Nobody can take that away from him, you know. Um, 
his, his second album. A lot of people think it's his first, but it actually was his second. His first album, they um, he messed with Eminem and Drake. Um, that album was a classic. His second album, I wasn't too crazy about it. It had a couple of okay songs. It was okay. It wasn't hot. It wasn't whack. It was just okay. I mean, he didn't really do too much. I mean, after his first album with Drake and them, I really didn't see any of his other albums being, like, you know, classics, so to speak. Like, I'm fast-forwarding a lot of shit on his other al- on his other albums. You know, I liked his first album, his, his actual original first album that never dropped, that he made with Columbia, I believe. I liked that album. You know, that album was cool. Um, wasn't better than, than his second. But, um... I mean, he to me he had he had more of an impact doing other things outside of making music than in actually making music. Like you know, I think he made more money making vitamin water than he ever did um, on album sales. I believe. I mean, I could be mistaken, but I don't think I am. You know what I'm saying? Like he 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 got a lot of other ventures outside of of hip hop that he actually you know what I mean is making more noise with than actually making albums. So, I don't know, that's just my opinion. What you feel about it? No, I agree with you. Um, another thing that, that I was kind of wondering, too. Now, does he address T. Stout at a basketball game because he knows pictures are going to be taken? Um, he knows that rap fans are going to be like, oh, 50 Cent is hard. Like, why wouldn't this conversation be handled over a phone conversation with Steve Stout? Or, like, why address them in public when you know cameras are going to be there? I mean, do you think that plays something that into is, it? That, yeah, I about to say, that's exactly why he would do it in public. I don't know if he planned it that way. You know, probably it was just one situation, but he just happened to be at the same place at the same time. And he just figured, you know, now's a good time as any to say something to do. And, you know, he, you know, with the cameras around and everything else, you know, it's good. That, that a good pub is still pub. And, you know, at the end of the fucking day. So, you know, he figured, fuck it. Why not now? You know what I'm saying? TMZ get a couple of um, camera shots and, you know, get a couple, get a little rant or two. And then I keep it pushing. And then, you know, that keeps me in the news, keep me relevant. So, yeah, that that's exactly why I think he would do it at that particular time. Yeah. Um. Also, you know, uh, Battle Rap lost uh, Q Dot from Dot Mob. He's in the battles. So if you see him, he's always the big guy. He's always next to uh, Dan Bars. Uh, rest in peace, uh, Q Dot. I reached out to Rex. I reached out to Dan Bars. You know, I send my condolences to them and stuff, and his family and stuff. We don't, we don't have Louis on the 13th on the line yet, right? Um, no. Expect him to call soon. Um, I know, like, he wants to share a few words and talk about upcoming projects as well, but. Uh, yeah, man, like, I only, you know, I only got to know Q Dot at one event, chopped it up with him, real cool people, and, you know, like, rest in peace to to him and my condolences to Mook, Rex, Dot Mob, and, you know, of course, his friends and family outside of that. Yeah, I agree. I agree, rest in peace, you know. Sad to see motherfuckers die young, but, you know, unfortunately it happens every day. And, you know, Dot Mob lost one of their own, you know, rest in peace to him. I could do to go out to, you know what I mean, him, his family, his crew, everybody. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, QP versus QP drop. Now, I don't believe they battled for the name, but, I mean, I could just say clean paper is back. I mean... You know what? What was your take on the battle? Um, it was a good battle. I, I thought it was a debatable battle myself. Um, I remember that first round being crazy from both. Um, either either whoever you if you told me one or the other one, I wouldn't complain. Um, second round, I I, I thought Queen um, edged it. I thought QP. Had a decent second though. QP wasn't getting a lot of reactions in the room, but that's expected, being the way they was battling and everything. And because I thought he was spitting some shit, um, his wordplay in the second round was crazy with some old um, like Kevin Bacon line or whatever. That shit was crazy. And um, Clean bounced back though, and Clean won the round. Me, but he said something about uh, he mentioned something about the sways, 
um, battle with, with QP, and um, he said something about choking him because he, he he, you know I'm known for not having a third or something. But I don't remember even what he said word for word, but that shit was crazy. Um, and QP bounced back in the third, and he had, he had another solid third. Had um, a flip, something about toilet paper that was crazy and everything else. He was spitting, again, spitting some shit. He wasn't getting a lot of reaction, but he was spitting some shit. And Clean came back, and it, 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 for a moment, it looked like we was going, we was, we was about to get um, another dose of Clean, not having the third round for a hot minute. And uh, to me, that's what made this round debatable because it took a while for Clean to um, heat up. Yeah, but when he ate, when he heated up, he ended it hot with the whole tall T thing and everything else. Like he ended it crazy. So a lot of people might give him that third round just because the way he ended it, because he ended it crazy. But it took a while for him to heat up. So, you know, it, it pretty much all boils down to preference in my eyes. I know you think clean won, what, 2-1, you said, or was it 3-0? Not 2-1. Um, the rounds itself, i got to watch it again, I, I think, like, second and third. But, um, yeah, like, you know, like you said, the third round, it did look like it was going to be that for a second. But, like, I think that's just because we're used to clean. So it's almost like expecting him. Like, if that would have came from any other rapper, we wouldn't have thought twice about it. But no, no, it was, was, been... was kind of like, oh, here it comes. Here it comes, you know. And it was kind of like, like it, it, I mean, it, 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 it wasn't, I mean, he did, he did seem like he was, like, trying to regroup and backtrack. Like, he did slip up. But, like, you know, I ain't going to say he choked because he finished his round, but he that was a slip up. Like, he... He had to, he had to, you know, get his thoughts together and everything else. Like he, he froze for a few seconds. So it's, it's a fair, it's a fair criticism. I would. Yeah, I, and, um, I, I, I would, guess it, 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 it's a fair criticism. Um, but I, I just think that it's because it's clean that we're kind of halfway expecting that. Yeah, I mean, everybody wanted to see if he was going to finish. I mean, same thing with Charlie Cliffs. Charlie Cliffs gets conceded. He didn't. He, he slipped up in, in that battle. He slipped up in um, in, in his third again. And so, you know, it was, it was the same shit. You know what I'm saying? He was able to bounce. I, I'm both actually them with surprised the, that um, Clean kind of took, like, a little more intimate uh, approach, too, with talking about how he was fucked up on drugs. I don't think he specified which ones and stuff. But, like, he kind of pretty much said he was getting high off of smack so he couldn't pay, pay attention to smack and shit. Like, um, I thought that was pretty ballsy of him, you know, to kind of, like, go ahead and admit something like that where, like, it's been heavily rumored but not really confirmed. Mm hmm That's crazy. Yeah, I'm... So we got any other um, battle rap news going on? Uh, no, well, well, we'll take a couple fan guests. Let me try to get the um, guests on the line. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's go. Uh, four, four, three. You there? Yo. Yo. Yo, what's good, man? What the fuck y'all niggas been at, man? Shit. I think we've gone a whole week out of this motherfucker. Like, yeah, you know, I, know, I know. How y'all been, though, y'all? Nah, that's cool. It's cool. I understand. Like, on, on some real shit, it really wasn't even shit to talk about. You all ain't dropped a battle since motherfucking Christmas. Like, I don't know what's, what the fuck is going on with the battles. Yeah, really I didn't get uh, this. Uh, in my bad, I, I, I'm going to try to get them a little bit. Um, actually, this Thursday and Friday, um, is the second season of UFF. UFF, is, yeah. Yeah, the lineup is... I, uh, do, you have, uh, do you remember the lineup? Psycho, you got it in front of you? Uh, I know it's... I don't have it. I don't have it with me, right? I H.A. Double, Danny Myers, I think he's going against Adi Boom in the beginning. Uh, yeah. Ty Law's in it. Prez, Prez Mafia. Uh, Prez Mafia. So, uh, you know, um, that that's on Thursday and Friday. It's going to be the uh, second season. That's on BET, of, right? BET, right? Yeah, that's BET of right, cool, cool. UFF, 
uh, what should be interesting. I'm actually, I'm actually going with uh, Adi Boom to win the whole thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't I know. Got Adi too. Why? I definitely got Adi. Yeah, I, I got Adi Boom uh, winning too. Because he got a personality got where, you know what I mean, uh, that he could win in that crowd. And he got buzz too. So I'm going to go with Brett. I'm going to go with Brett Mafia. Nah, I don't think so. Fuck. I, I think Ty Law is going to beat him, though. So he he takes Ty Law in, the, what, the first round or some shit? I think Ty Law is going to beat him. Yeah. That's going to be a good one. That's going to be a good one. See, Ty Law got yeah. buff. Yeah. He, he can't outperform Prez. Like, Prez got more presence on stage. <laughs> on stage and on, in a 106 type of environment, that helps a lot. Yeah. You know, and I just, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, but but, but like, Mafia, he got an interesting type of style with breaking down words and all that shit. It may not. I don't know. I don't know because Norm said that the BET crowd this season is going to be a little bit different than the last season. You know what I mean? So I don't know. It yeah. depends on you know how the crowd. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, the crowd got judge who wins. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. they got a whole bunch of girls in there and some shit like that. You know what I mean? That don't know shit about battle rap. Then I, kind of, I don't know. But I got Adi Boom mm -hmm. winning the whole thing, though. But um, yeah, um, yeah, you, um, Jesse, you said that uh, QP and uh, QP coming on, or y'all just talking about the uh, the the uh, battle and shit? Because I thought you um, were Twitter that, that you got QP. We're having both of them on, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah both, both of them will be on. Um, the the phone's just off right now, but we're gonna get them in a little bit. Um, All right, cool. yeah, you can just plug me back in then, man. Yeah, yeah not a problem. All right, who, cool. who you thought? Who you thought took the battle? What against QP and QP? Yeah, I got I I, I got QP. Um, <laughs> I said against QP and QP. I got oh, that, that, that's, but, uh, that, I mean, that's a, an easy know, way to go, right? That's yeah, yeah, I got um, my fucking um from Pontiac. QP, not Pontiac. What the fuck is he from? Quantum uh, physics or QP. Yeah, yeah. Nah, not him. My fucking QP, the real QP and shit. You know what I'm saying? Clean, like, clean, clean, yeah, clean, clean. Yeah, That's what I meant to say. Clean, clean, clean. My bad, my bad. I got clean, <laughs> clean, clean. Yeah, but um, he kind of used the line like um that uh if y'all if y'all remember in his second line uh his second round of shit where he said what he say um about the, the Temptations line ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. That shit was hella fresh, yeah, but but my huh? I said, yeah, I remember that line. I know it's been yeah, used before. Was, I forgot by who. You said what? I said, I forgot by who. Who used that before? Um, Danger Zone used that. I don't know. I don't know who used it on the URL, but Danger Zone had that line when he was battling in pit fights. He, he used it in two battles. You know what I'm saying? I, oh, okay. I, I haven't ever seen. I, I watched a lot of fucking battles. I haven't seen nobody ever use that line. You know what I mean? So I don't, I don't know. That's a line that you just. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I didn't see how they took the shit, but I remember Danger Zone used that shit first. But yeah. Yeah, yo, you Who know what's crazy? That was a crazy battle. Um, me and I had clean winning it. Um, I don't think Psycho gave his opinion on who I, won it exactly. I, I, exited, I actually edited the QP from the Suns two one, but it was debatable. It was mad debatable. If you gave it to clean, clean, I wouldn't be mad at you. What, 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 what rounds you gave it to him though? What rounds you gave him? Cause like, you couldn't have gave him I, that third I, round because his, his third I, round was hella short. Yeah, I, who was um QP? Uh, cleans. I mean, not cleans. Q, QP, quantum physics. I'm getting the niggas mixed yeah. up, mixed up and shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. His yeah, round was short. Third round was hella short. Clean, clean had that slip up, and it took a while for him to cook in, in that in that round. Like he ended it hot, but it started off not like like eh, eh. It, it, like it, like. Like, like in the middle of the round, I'm sure you was ready to get that round to QP in the in the middle of that round. If you did give him the third, it wasn't you wouldn't give it to him to the end of the third round because like it took him that long to really heat up. Mm. He, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. But but QP, he, it, you know, his third round was an that tall P shit was crazy. That tall P shit he said at the end was crazy. And QP ain't oh, yeah. um helped him out. He actually helped him out by saying he said something exactly exactly. He, and, yeah, and that kind of like it helped up, um, helped clean set up for that next bar and shit. So yeah, so he he yeah, ended yeah, it real high. I just don't think he gave me enough in the third. I just don't think he yeah. gave me enough. I thought he I mean, clearly won the second. I mean, the first two. I thought he, the first I thought round. Clean, uh, 
I said, what? I thought the first one was debatable. I, I edged it to QP. It was debatable. I edged it to him. I thought Clean clearly won the second. I thought he clearly won mm -hmm. the second. And um, the third was debatable, but, again, I edged it to QP. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good battle. That was a pretty good battle, though. I mean, I wish my fucking URL would drop that motherfucking Craig Mafia and Mr. Wavy. I mean, what the fuck was going on with Norris, man? Damn. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, I mean, Mr. Young niggas ain't dropped a battle since motherfucking, um, The Vote or, or Young Mukes or some shit like that. I'm checking the motherfucking URL every fucking day for the goddamn battle. <laughs> it's been about two weeks. But, um, it's been about two weeks. Yeah, it's, it's been, yeah, it's been a minute. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, what's going on with the uh, before y'all you know get to another call and shit? What's going on with the uh, the ninety minute events uh, three? Uh, what the fuck? The four card ninety minute events four card. I mean, when y'all going to drop a, a trailer? It should be like two weeks or a week or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Expect something to drop in soon. Expect something to start dropping soon. Maybe in the next right, battle. Cool, cool. Who knows? But right, um, cool. yeah. the card is still. Yeah, when y'all get QP on, got... just call. All right, cool. When y'all get QP on, just plug me, plug me back in and shit, man. I appreciate it, man. All right, that's what's up. Thanks for the call. Jesse, would you able to get them on yet? No, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to him via DM. Um, apparently, he's trying to get on. His phone is going straight to voicemail. Um, did, did you see? Um, he should be calling in any second. Did you, did you see Tycoon Tax versus? Uh, Rum Nitty. Not yet. No. A great that battle, yo. Battle. Yeah, crazy battle. Uh, th what I found funny is Tycoon Tax said uh, something straight from a Sharon battle. Sharon versus Arcane with, um, he said, your girl reminds me of the Simpsons movie, the way she gave the whole town don't. Sharon almost said that verbatim mm. on the team. Now, mm. is this a 10-4 stolen line? I mean, Roman Nitty fucks with King of the Dot, so you can't tell me he did not see that battle. Is this a 10-4 stolen mm. line, or is it... How long ago was this battle with... How long ago was this battle Sharon with him? Sharon said this Arcane against Arcane. Arcane. How like long two, ago was ago. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Give me... Give me, give me that's rough. Give me one That's second. Rough. I have QP calling on the other line. Give me one second. Take another call. All right, go ahead. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. I mean, if he said it two years ago, <laughs> if he said it two years ago, and he said it word for word, that's going to be hard. He got some explaining to do. Then he probably got some explaining to do. Keep it a buck. You know what I'm saying? Like, if he, if he, if it was just, like, the same punchline, and it wasn't like the setup wasn't the same. And I got to hear the two bars together to, to really get my full opinion on it. You know, I don't want to throw nobody under the bus, and it was an innocent mistake, uh, you know, just coincidence or whatever. But, yeah, if he said it word for word, then that's going to be, yeah, then he got some explaining to do, definitely. That's, that's how I feel on the subject. Um, let's see, I think Jesse's on the other line trying to get the guests on, so let me go to another call. Let's go, uh, 718, you there? Yeah, you already know, man. And clean about to get on, bro. You already know you got to plug me back in, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you already know you got to plug me back in, bro. Uh, yeah, I already know, son. I already know. I, I hear all about it. <laughs> What's the word, What's the word right, you know, yeah. son? Man, I'm chilling, bro. I'm chilling. Um, Things good. Battle rap looking kind of crazy. You know, I was waiting to tell everybody I told you so for for months. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wish Norris was on here so I can compare him to Iverson again. But uh, what? <laughs> Chilling though, man. Speaking of, he just got his number retired too. Yeah, bro. I I cried, man. I know Norris cried. That's why I really wanted to ask him. That, that really, you know what I mean? That's some things that make you feel old as a nigga, like Derek Jeter retiring, but this Allen Iverson, yeah. the niggas in the hood, like that's, you know what I'm saying? I I really wasn't ready for that day, man, for real. Yeah, I agree. No, Norris thinks I hate Allen Iverson. I told him I actually got love for Allen Iverson because I'm a Georgetown fan, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, I, so he gets that Georgetown love for me. I just... I just was a realistic, a, a realist when it came out. Now, and I just, 
I knew I knew he was going to be where he became uh, yeah. a, a real good score, a highlight machine, a real good score that's never going to win anything. And that's pretty much what he became. Man, yeah, yeah. Man, that, that shit is sad, man. I feel like he got blackballed out the league, man. Dress code, everything he wears. Like, it, that's I don't like even think it was so dress code. I don't think it was, like, like they did give him some problems about that in the beginning because he was kind of like the first person to kind of, like, bring that hip-hop feel to the NBA. Like, you know, before that, people was, like, wearing, like, business suits and everything else. And is that third, you know, he kind of was the first one to say, fuck it, and wear, like, sweatsuits and, you know, turn that backwards and everything else. He's the reason why the dress code in the NBA now. Like, yeah, you can't do exactly, that. Exactly, man. It's like they took a picture of him and everything he was wearing is like, nope, can't wear this, 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 this. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Like, all this shit, like, the, the, just like you said, he was the poster child. They put a picture up of him. It's like, see this? Arrow pointing at the hat backwards? No, no. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Word, sweatsuit, no sweatsuit. <laughs> Boy, right, sneakers, sneakers. No sneakers, no nothing. Everything you see in this picture is wrong. We want right. you to do that shit. <laughs> no word, yo. Even the even the albums, like niggas niggas in I mean Ron Artest did one. But niggas in the league was it they stopped uh, trying to drop yo, rap yo, on the two for Hello? a while. Yo, Seiko? Yeah. 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 Sorry, sorry to cut yeah. you guys off, man. We have um we just have a great battle that just happened. Q P versus Clean. Hey, <laughs> Awesome. Oh, yeah. Hello? Yeah, well, I'm in. Now, hold on, my dude. We, we on the, we on, you are about to run it right now, my nigga. Yeah. Right now, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, well, you know, I, I know y'all have some shit to get off your chest, so I'm, I'm going to let you do that first before we get into the battle. Um, first of all, congratulations. Like, shit was crazy, you know. <laughs> Hello? No, I was. Yeah, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Just hold on a second. It's too loud. <laughs> yeah, I think it gives me text messages or whatever. Yeah, I think you got it. Yeah, I think you got it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Waiting for QP versus QP. <laughs> QP and QP. After the battle, they're actually chilling together right now. We'll find out why that's actually happening. Um. Uh, <laughs> But uh, freaking, you know, I yeah, I give my opinion. You give your opinion on the battle. Um, they said they wanted to get some shit off their chest too. Um, so we're gonna let them come on. Now, did you answer right. the tycoon text? Hello. Yeah, no, we, me, me and Clean both here. All right, go ahead. Like, I know you guys have some shit to get off your chest first. So I, I'm gonna let you guys do that. Go ahead. I just want to say, fuck them angry fan niggas, and I'm through. <laughs> That's it. I mean, me, 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 the other QP. You feel me? I, I just want to say, fuck, fuck, not the angry fan movement not per se. Not right. Not the angry not. fan move, but but angry fan himself, my nigga. Cause that nigga, the niggas who go on there talking about fuck URL and all that shit. Fuck you, niggas. So let's get to this URL battle rap arena shit. This is what we on here for. And we done talking about them lame ass niggas for the rest of the show. We ain't got shit to say about the fans. Mm. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we we uh we actually just had a um uh, a conversation about the um battle that y'all got that just had a classic battle in my opinion. You know, both of y'all was good back and forth debating the battle. How y'all feel it went down? Oh yo, wait, hold on. Before all that too, yo, Queen, welcome back, yo. And I mean, actually, two oh, people, so. but, but like I Queen, never, like. I ain't never left though. I ain't never left. Yo, but you know what? I mean, it's like we're actually saying that, like, too, before, like, uh, before you guys called in, too, like, it's kind of like that third round. I was nervously, like, is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? But I think you, I think you did great the third round, and you picked it up, you know. I, I ain't mean for nobody to get nervous or nothing. I just like that. It's like people don't understand. I mean, people, you know, everybody who do it understand, but you know, it's like it, it's about pacing yourself in the ring. You know, I just like the pace of so, so, but I'm just glad that we put on put on the show for everybody, and you know, people like it. Fuck the haters, you feel me? I'm I'm back on ten. So anybody who's not getting me on their car right now, is stupid. You feel me? So, and 
you know, like I said, I ain't never left, but I did, you know what I'm saying? Just took a little vacation. So the welcome back feel good. I just like the love that we get from the people. Yeah, it was a great battle. You know, I, I, yeah. I was surprised by, um, like, the personal information that you said in it, too. You know, you said you were um, fucked up, fucked with Smack. And, you know, like, I heard rumors about it, but it was never really, like, confirmed like that. So, I mean, is it hard for you to even mention that in a battle rap when, like, you talk about your own, what, what's going on in your personal life? No, nah, man, like, not for real, you know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, I'm not the type of person that's going to have everybody in my business or put everybody in my business because, like, it's certain stuff that, um, that you know, that I, don't, I don't believe that the fans should be, you know, like, exposed or faulted for what go on in our personal life or what reasons I stopped or what, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's totally irrelevant to them, but. I was just mentioning that because a lot of people think that smacking them, that smacking them kicked me to the curb or wasn't fucking with me or, no, it wasn't that. It wasn't that at all. It was me, so, like, I would never say fuck smack. I would never say fuck the URL movement or fuck what they doing, you know, because they the ones who put me in the game, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's never that. I got the utmost respect for Smack nor anything that got to do with the URL movement. It's like that's why I was just snapping on dude. Like anybody you say fuck the URL then like, you know what I'm saying, you got a problem with me. Like I fuck with URL heavy. So just the me mentioning that was just like uh it was just like uh that was just me letting the fans know just like, you know, why I been like where where I been. Or, you know what I'm saying, like what's been going on, so it was nothing like that. I, that's what's uh yo same question for you, QP. Um, in your window, uh, you know, like you know, you mentioned the coke sniffing and shit like that. Is is it hard for you to mention shit like that in a bad rap where you know your personal life is going to be seen by all these YouTube people? Ask him again. I, I, I said, um, is it hard for you, like, you know, you were talking about, you know, doing coke and shit. Is it hard for you to put, like, personal information like that in a battle rap where you know it's going to be seen by YouTube people and people, like, so opinionated, like, battle rap fans? No, nah, with me, I, I don't really, my thing is, like, I keep my shit like reality TV, but without the edits and stuff like that. With me, whatever I live, how I live my life, it's all online, like. People love to, to critique what we do in the battle rap world as well, as well as what we do in the real life world. So for me, it's just more like I got nothing to hide yet. Do I do yay from time to time? Of course. Why would I not? Like, I'm that nigga. So why in the hell would I not after a venue or after a studio session or after a photo shoot or after me traveling and going to see one of the Johns on a trip, why would I not indulge a bit when I work hard and, and what I built from scratch is like, man, I, I work hard and I play hard. So to me, it's not a negative and to the point to where you see me with my lights cut off, my cell phone off, you don't see me fresh to death every time you see me. Like, I do my shit responsibly. So, like, what I do in the streets, like, I could care less. You feel me? Like, when I keep it with Khan and shit like that, yeah, Khan is always on, like, you know, I can't, you can't do that. No, 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 the cameras are on, we can't. And me, I'm more like, man, shit, let me pull my $100 bill out. Like, it's nothing to me. You feel me? Like, to me, I, I, don't, I don't have shit to hide. Like, I'm not ashamed of nothing that I do. Like, so that's why, to me, it's, it's really... More like watch me or, or don't watch me. Either way, you're going to watch me because my haters watch me and my and people that love me watch me. So, good. Now, I, know, I, know, I know, like, I had this a, a question for the both of y'all before y'all even battled each other. Um, so this battle was not for the – let's get it clear for the fans out there that don't know. This battle was not for the name, correct? And was it ever supposed to be for the name? And would they have been judges? Like, how did – how did that go about? Nah, so nah. Yeah, nah, I'll just take the lead real quick. I'm handing the right to, to clean, like, the QP. Nah, we battling for the name. We battle for the name. This is the thing. Like, had it been a landslide situation or, or a one-way situation where it was just heavily slanted to one guy, then, yeah, of course, somebody's coming off the name. But it's more like, me and this nigga done built a lot. Even if you say that, that I say that clean came out after me or whatever, the nigga's name was really QP before I dropped. And before he dropped, my name was QP. So it's more like you got two niggas named this, 
Like, how do you solve that? Well, you solve it by, first of all, meeting up like men and battling it out. Like, his buzz is just as big as my buzz. His buzz is uh, way bigger on the east than mine is on the west, shit like that. So it's more like, okay, let's get it in. Let's do it like men. We did it like men, and I'm looking at the polls. I'm looking at the comments, and the shit is like 50-50, maybe 60-40, 40-60. But that's not, to me, you feel me? To me, after what he built, after what I built, it's not, it's not worth somebody necessarily coming off the name and changing it in that same instance. So it's like... His clean, you know, say he tell you how he feel about the shit. I mean, shit, that's pretty much it. That was, it was in the nut shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if my whole thing is, even if just like he said, if it was one-sided or somebody, okay, say if it was one-sided and I took the loss. It's like, at the end of the day, when I go back to living my life, like, I'm still QP to all the people that's in my life. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure it'll go the same way for him. But, you know, like, I mean, it is what it is. It's just like you can't, but I kind of figured that it was going it was gonna be like that, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, you got two two titans getting in there and, like, ain't nobody a slouch, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, this battle rap shit is so crazy. Like, the fans want you to hate each other and all that, but, you know what I'm saying? That's why I said, like, going back to what you asked, like, battle rap needs more reality in it nowadays because it's a lot of fake-ass shit. Is going on, and <laughs> that really need to be exposed. Like, this shit is crazy. So, like, I think battle rap need more reality in it. And the reality of this shit is, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, ain't none of this shit real when you step off the stage. At the end of the day, you going back to live your life. I'm going back to live my life. So that's what it is. Like, there's nothing else to do now but continue on and get money. Like, that's that's all it's about. I say I'm get money. Now you know with the um the reality show, uh we got we got the Thursday and Friday B T event, the UFF shit like that. Do you think that battle rap is being overexposed to from what you know it as as battling on no, the street? I, I, in my opinion in my opinion I wouldn't say that it's being overexposed. Like it's supposed to be exposed. Like if it ain't exposed then what we're doing it for. It's not being overexposed, but I think it's too open now. When I first started this shit like me going against B Magic and like trying to get in the URL or you know, not even trying to get in the URL, you know what I'm saying? But like it was it wasn't easy. Like it wasn't easy for 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 goods and, you know, for my like it wasn't easy. Like they just make it so easy to get in now and it's like you know, like it's overcrowded with the fake shit. Mm-hmm. I do I do you feel a certain way about like niggas having a spot that like a lot of people Think that you should have because like nothing nothing your your fan base is strong like you know you you got like the the clean paper ride or die clean paper fans i haven't seen a lot of people with, the, with that kind of fan base um you know so do you like feel a certain type of way by press mafia adi boom being on the uff instead of you or like like you said before Dude, yeah. Oh, because it's like, I mean, I put my work in. I put my work in. I'm the type of person, like, I'm, I'm, as long as I'm satisfied with where I'm at, like, I'm never worried about where another man is in, 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 in their point of life. You know what I'm saying? Like, ever. I'm not here to hate on nobody. I fuck with Prez Mafia. I fuck with Adi Boom. I I just was supposed to get Adi number and just holler at him. I'm going to call. Shout out to Adi Boom. Shout out to my little nigga Prez Mafia, too, out here fucking shit up. You feel me? My, yeah, right, here in you up Shout out to my nigga Steens out here fucking shit up, Brooke McCarter. I, I fuck with the new niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing, like, I fuck with the new niggas. Cause if, if you a new nigga who really, like, it's different from, from niggas who really do this shit and, and niggas that is really in versus a nigga waking up and saying, oh, I think I want to battle rap. Who really don't got mm-hmm. no passion and just don't want to sit back and be a fucking fan and play their role like I be trying to tell these supporters to do, you know? Instead of, like, because, like, it get hard on people. And it, it, at, at a point in time, and they like, like, it get hard on some people. And, you know, it's pressure. It's pressure. Do you think, do you think it's harder? It's do you, do you like, think it was harder? Like, well, uh, what happened? Hello? Just like, it's pressure. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. That. I was asking, do you think it was harder? For um, you guys being like the beginning stages of the PG classes compared to what guys have to go through now stepping into the PGs, do you think the 
you know, the struggles that you guys went through kind of made it easier for these guys? Um, me looking from me, me looking from the point of view that I'm looking from, yeah, I do. But you know, if you ask them, <laughs> they might think different. They might say different. So, like, I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm not in their shoes. I'm not in their position. They not in my shoes. They not in my position. I just wish them them upcomers the best. You know, and yeah. you know they they gonna ride it out how they ride it out. You feel me? But shit, I know the bad guy back, and I ain't here to fuck around. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I, um, you know I fucked up Adi Boom, right? On his first, on the battle. Oh, um, right, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, you um, fuck Adi Boom, man. Who is it? Jesse, yo. Jesse Rakin. Adi Boom on a one man. round. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yo, go look in the YouTube. Nah, he, he got the win. But I did good, though. Um, <laughs> what you want? <laughs> uh, I, I'm not even going to lie. He got the win, but I did good, though. Uh, but, you know, like, I know last few on the show, you had, I don't want to say a dispute with Norbs, but, you know, you and Norbs had some words to say to each other. Um, Norbs, my bro, I can talk to Norbs like that. I can talk to that fat neck fuck like that because that's my bro. <laughs> you feel me? Like, a lot of people might not be able to get that off. You feel me? I can get that shit off. All right. Man, Norris already know what's up. I draw a fucking tattoo on the top of Norris bald ass head. Yeah. <laughs> I I know at the time I know at the time you made a statement that talking fat, about the, Where that fat fuck at anyway, he's supposed to be on here right now. And if you, where the fuck he at? Yeah, he's he's caught up right now, man. Um the Get uh, his fat ass on the line. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll try. I'll try to see if he can call in real quick, though. I know he's caught up. Fat ass up. Who's fat ass up? And Jesse Rickon, you gonna stop interviewing clean and not the other man? Come on, man. Uh, yeah, yo, 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 my, yo, yo, my. You know what? My, my, my bad about that too. But you know, like last time Clean was here, you know, he was talking about battle rap is not fair, and you know, even you too, QP, you said like, uh like you were trying to get on smack like now clean do you still feel that way and you know qp like it, it, were there any like negotiations with smack norbs or anybody as far as being on the show actually the first qp verse qp was supposed to be on smack around the time when uh, luciano crack and jc battled and um uh, fat boy and uh, tall t our battle was actually supposed to be on Smack. It was like two other times that we were supposed to battle. Like, you asking, like, if I feel some type of way about him being on Smack? Right. No, 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 no. Chris, no, no, like, no. I remember last time we had you on the show, you said battle rap is not fair. But do you still feel that way? I ain't, like, it's like, it's like, this shit is more so politics now than it is ranking. You feel me? That's how I feel. Like, when I first stepped in the game, it really wasn't no, all right, you could pay this guy. Like, all that shit had just started happening. Like, okay, you you a, a little nigga coming up in this shit, and you could go pay Charlie Clips the uh, 2500 to come and battle you. So, like, this shit was just, like, that had just trained. It was none of that when I first stepped in. Like, it was like you got to battle to get your rank, you know? Like, you got to battle to get your ranks. And, like, sometimes, like, how they set, sometimes I disagree with how with, with some of the matchups. I feel like some people get matchups that they shouldn't get. You feel me? And that, that's just how I feel. Like, I ain't going to stop feeling that way. I ain't going to sugarcoat shit. That's just how I feel. Some motherfuckers, you just, they put some people on the pedestal that don't deserve to be on the pedestal, and I ain't going to say no names because somebody going to start feeling some type of way, and the next time I see them, I'm going to have to punch them in their fucking face. And I ain't <laughs> to go through them. So it's, like I said, like it's just some people who I feel like is overrated, and these leagues place them on a certain pedestal that they don't need to be placed on. You know what I'm saying? All I was saying was I'm one of the – few people who actually stepped in and this man right here by myself, like all this uh, all this slow it down shit that niggas doing and all this say it again shit that niggas doing. Like you talking to the two people who started that shit right here. Yeah. You feel me? Like yeah. let's not forget that. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Like let's not forget what you people stepped in and did. Like let's that's not true. forget that. That's true. And that's all I was saying. Like not, yeah, uh, don't never worry about what a nigga. Yeah, both slogans all over the place now. 
you know, so yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Slow it down and reversing the punch and no all that shit. That shit is everywhere in our school. Everybody doing it. Who's not doing it? Yeah. I even did it yeah. again. They ain't ready for that slow it again, though. They ain't ready for the slow it again. Oh, man. If they ready for the slow it again? <laughs> what, what's that? Wait, hold on. Are, are, are you guys doing like... Wait, is it like QP and QP, or are you guys looking to do like a two-on-two two now? Is it like... Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. You're getting ahead of yourself now. You're getting ahead of the game now. You're getting ahead of the game now. Hold on. We're gonna take, we got to take the keys from Jess Reed because we asked you to get in the back seat. Now you trying to drive the whip. I... <laughs> you get the head of the road now. Oh, uh, man. Um... Oh, uh, man, but, like, real, like, real talk, I've been, I've been building, like, me and this man, we've been building, you know what I'm saying, and, like, come to find out, like, we got a lot, like, you know what I'm saying, like, we got a lot of the same business, and that's just yeah. off of, you know what I'm saying, building, like, we was paid to host a, a couple cards together coming off of the battle, and, shit, we just been rocking with each other ever since, and, you know, we've been building on some business type shit, so, you know, that's we just, we just, we just... We we just make you know it's moves to be made. Like I said, Jess, you know how this shit go. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, you know, uh, QP, QP in the in your window. I know last time you said that you were interested in 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 doing the smack. Is that still like an outlet for you? Like, are you like trying to reach out to smack and and bees in them to get on the card, or is it kind of like you're just moving at your own pace right now? Like you're just moving wherever it goes. You are wherever the money at, my nigga. Like that's that's what it is at the end of the day. Like really sitting back and doing the math on everything. Like it's if, if where you at where we at right now, right? It's not even about going where you can get the most views because we get views wherever we go. It's more like going where the money makes sense, where the battle makes sense, and where we can keep the battle rap community happy. You know what I'm saying? What what QPs are doing? You know what I'm saying? All year long instead of just part time in it. You know how we do because. Niggas don't really get it. When you cool in real life, like, the battle rap shit is, like, a fraction of who you is as a person. So it's like, you feel me? We be moving a million miles an hour in real lifetime. You feel me? So when it comes to the battle shit, niggas got they step, you know, one foot in the door, one foot out. But now it's more like niggas got both foot in the door. You feel me? In the window, my nigga, everybody adore us. So you feel me? They're going to be on a live and don't get the shit twisted, my nigga, at any point in time. And it's true, my nigga, you going to be looking through the keyhole for my people, my nigga, when I look through the people. That's all I'm saying, my nigga. That's it. That's it, my nigga. That's it. I, Nothing I mean, that. I, yo, and I also know, too, like, you, you would be able to make a huge impact if you call out conceited. Um, but, you like, you've never really chosen to make that move, right? So, is, is yeah, still, nah, that, that's... Yeah, my bad. Go ahead. Explain this to me. Like, okay, let's say, like, like, like any window is a democracy... And nothing but the dopest writers and the dopest performers now, because we got Prez and Innuendo. We got another big ass, you know, saying announcement coming for Innuendo after me and QP's battle died down and all that shit. Like, but it's more like that's what Innuendo is. It's more like it, I want it to show what I stand for as a real person. So it's like if I, me and Khan built stuff something from scratch, me Fox Khan Hearts, Brick De Niro, all these cats. Like I don't want to. Shit on that when that's a, that's a whole legacy. So it's like whatever Khan's doing, that's what it is. You feel me? Whatever the rumors is about that, we put those to rest. You feel me? Like I'm not I'm not on that remedy ill shit. Like like ill and remedy were good good friends. They they good friends. They, and then he turned his back on him. Like if Khan turned his back on me, I still wouldn't fuck up the son's legacy. You feel me? Because I talked to Khan. Me and Khan are good. You feel me? Like Khan want to fly me out to the wild and out sessions and all that shit. Like, if you a son and you fuck with Kanye, you will feel the benefits of that. So, like, me, I'm not going after one of my niggas because then my innuendo niggas going to look at me like, nigga, when I get bigger than you, which all of my niggas is, I'm the weakest nigga in innuendo. So it's like, with that being said, my nigga, since everybody's famous, nigga, what would I look like trying to drag my niggas down? Like, I don't want them to see that and be like, yep, the bigger I get, the, the more saltier QP get. And, you know, I feel the innuendo, the engine, like, I'm, I'm one of the niggas that, that hold that engine together. Newborn, Bonnie, all of us. Like, my nigga, it's just it's the engine. So I just want to have a lasting good impression. That's all. That's it. Nothing more. Nothing more than that. That's what's up. Uh, yo, Psycho, if you don't mind, uh, 347, I, I don't know if you guys heard about this. Q. Dot from Dot Mob passed away. Um, I actually, who, is, who passed away? Uh, oh, Q. Dot from Dot Mob. Q. Dot from Dot Mob. 
Excuse oh, that, yeah. Come on, get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah. What did that happen? I, I actually got Louis the 13th on the line right now. So, um, I think it happened two days ago. Um, you know, is, is, is we have Louis there, Seiko? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Man, that's crazy. Louis, you there? Yeah, what's up, Louis? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm here. What's up, man? Hey, Louis. Hey, what's like going on know. with you, Louis, bro? What's good? What's you up, man? Nice? Yeah, yeah, oh, Louis. Man. Uh, you know, man. my bad. Go ahead. My, go ahead. Come. On. How you feeling, man? I'm on saying, like, how any real street nigga gonna feel when you lose one of your day one homies? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you know, at this present time of my life, you know, I'm a little older. I seen a, I seen death a lot. You know what I'm saying? In my face, away. You know what I'm saying? I just got to be strong for everybody in my team and everybody that support us and everything like that. You know, like I'm going through it and shit like that. But you know, at the same time, I know my homie Chew that always told me. You know what I'm saying? In order for you to be strong at the end, you got to fight at the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. yeah. Crazy man, that's God damn. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy um, you, you, I ain't even hear about that. Is there anything you can tell the parents? Like, is there anything you can tell the parents like, like, when did this happen? And how did it happen? Or uh, whatever. This happened. Uh, this happened a few days ago. You know, it was natural, natural death. You know, we ain't, I, I ain't, we ain't worrying about having to go kill nobody. You know what I'm saying? You know, but it was, it was a natural, natural, natural cause. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm still go, I'm just going through it right now. You know, like, you know, I, I get a lot of support from everybody. You know, his, you know, his, his more to it is that like his family. You know, what I'm saying like, it, it's more is what I worry about right now because you know he just got married and just had a baby. You know, so now we just got to be there more for him. You know. Yeah, and see, like that's what I'm saying. Like that go back to that that all that go back to what I was saying. Like. These supporters, like, you know, they don't understand what people, like, you gotta, like, we human just like everybody else is. Like, we go through shit in our life, too. You know? Some people mm -hmm. might, like, they say, God not gonna put you in no situation that, that you can't handle. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like, you have to go through certain stuff in life and, and, and you know, for, for a person to be able to get up and walk through that, like, you gotta be strong, bro. Like, you really gotta be strong, bro. And I, I feel for y'all, bro. I appreciate like, that, man. Kid, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I appreciate all that. Go, go out to the whole dot mob. You feel me? Like, that's crazy, dog. Yeah, a lot, a lot crazy, of people, bro. like, everything Everything you just said, man, like, a lot of people don't be knowing that. I don't know if they be thinking, you know what I'm saying, like, this battle rap shit, you know what I'm saying, is a, a nigga real way of life. But at the end of the day, man, it's entertainment, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's entertaining for us to, to give all the show for people and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, and, and unless you know a nigga personally, you know, like, they don't know, like, a lot of battle rappers, like, we really cool with each other or talk to each other regularly, you know what I'm saying, so, like, to get, to get, yeah, to get love, saying, like, to, to get love and support, yeah. you know what I'm saying, from a lot of people, it, it's big, you know what I'm saying, yeah, that's what I'll be, yeah. be trying to, to let people understand and get through to people, like, at the end of the day, like, man, this shit is a sport, you know what I'm saying, like, this shit is just, like, it, this shit is pure sport. You get some people, like, you know what I'm saying, like, you get a little fight, you know what I'm saying, but, like, shit, you get motherfuckers who fight on the basketball court or motherfuckers who fight on the football field, like, that's just human nature. That shit gonna happen sometimes, but, like, I feel this shit is a sport. When you step off stage, everybody gotta go back to living their life. Yeah, you everybody everybody right, my nigga, you got to and shit like that, you know? It's just life, you know? You know? Life, man. It's a sport. You get paid. You get paid to do a job. And if people don't understand that, then fuck them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 But, yeah. But I mean, you know, I, I send some of my uh, condolences to Rex and, and Bars and, and yourself. Um, you know, send my condolences to, like, his family. Oh y'all, man. K-Sign, no. dog. Yeah. yeah. All y'all, man. He's a nigga. More, yeah. uh, K-Y, all of y'all, bro. Yeah, I like, appreciate crazy, that, man. man. You know, like, I, I say this, though, you know what I'm saying, just so, I know we all lost people, you understand what I'm saying? Like, we all grown men at the end of the day. We ain't gonna allow nobody to disrespect us as far as we don't want to be disrespected. You understand what I'm saying? But, like, mm -hmm. if they were that serious, don't, there's no need to entertain it. That's all. That's one thing I say. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it ain't serious, they don't need to entertain it because 
when a nigga really go, he really go. You understand? When a nigga gone, a nigga really gone. And you can't bring that shit back. So I'm trying to tell these boys out here, man. Like, ain't no pressure starting because this shit ain't no game, man. Yeah. Uh, like, but I do wanna, I do wanna make a comment about. I don't know who was speaking on it. How one of y'all was saying that sometimes these battle rappers get put on a pedestal that they don't need to be on, and I agree with that. You know, you got a lot of battle yeah, rappers. Was... You got a lot of battle rappers that fail just because they had a good battle once, two, or three times that they really did something, but they never really been in no position to really get their head knocked off in a battle when a nigga's not playing with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally, you really don't even know if they got a chin or not. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, know you, don't really know, you don't really know. Like, you don't really know what they really up against. You know, like, growing up, like, a lot of people don't know, like, my father is Master Raw from the Fantastic Five and the Cold Crush crew. So I actually mm. grew up into the battle world of hardcore battle raps and right on the spot and you don't got time to prepare for nothing. You understand? Like, a lot of these battle rappers, you can't throw them in the water right now and they ain't got, like, 20, 20 raps in, they, in, in, they, in a vault that they could just go all night with and shit like that. And you know? Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. When I, when I was 16, when I, when I was 16 out here and that shit was, man, I couldn't leave the house without five new fucking versions. You feel me? Yes. Mm -hmm. And like that's yep. why I can't. I couldn't leave the house without five new fucking verses. Because you, 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 right. you, you never knew who you're walking to. You never knew who you're walking to. Exactly. All you know. But I do say this though: the fact that you know this battle rap is a sport. Everybody has to meet somebody one day. You have to, whether you're a low seed or you're not a low seed. You know, because just like in basketball, you know, you got that. You know, high school, you got the ABC, you got the double A division, you know what I'm saying? You may have your, your C class that just beat everybody in the C to move up to the B and beat everybody in the B to move up to the A. So everybody got to meet every everybody at least one day if they don't retire. You understand? Well, I, I, you know, a lot of people don't even know, like, you're you're the A&R for Dot Mob, right? So, yeah. you know, clean paper, CQP, both on the line. Um, any battles you could set up with them versus a dot mob person? I'm saying last time I saw um, you know what I'm saying, Queen Paper, we was at our Summer Madness, and I know he called out Sean back then. I remember that. Yeah, I, I, somebody else mentioned that to me the other day, too. Well, yeah, you know, I, yeah, um, you know, like, I ain't about to, you know what I'm saying, I'm, like I said, I ain't, about to, I, ain't, I ain't about to chase it, though. You know what I'm saying, like, if that's that something that happen, he, feel like late, he, do, he probably feel like he don't want to do that right now. If that's something he mm -hmm. feel like he want to do in the future, then, you know, then we can do that, but he probably I don't see that battle that right now. But. I see that battle happening in the future, I'm not going to lie. Like, I see that battle happening in the future and shit like that. It just, you know... Everything just has to be right with it, the venue, the money, you know, the agreement, contracts. Like I said, it's, mm -hmm. everything is politics right now, and everything is business. Yeah, everything is politics, dude. We was talking the other day. I was going to take daylight, but I don't think uh, I'll be, you'll be a wrong decision you make with that boy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, 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 this goes for this goes for you and the other QP. If you do take daylight, would, would you be worried about the antics he might pull? Not at all. Not worried about none of it. Nah, nah. Well, you know, QP's not paper. QP not worried about shit just because that's that nigga. I don't worry about shit because I know Devon Campbell. That's the thing. Like that's daylight for y'all who don't know. That's my nigga. Like you know, what I'm saying like his baby mom and my baby mom have dinner together. Like. Me and Daylight, we do shit outside of Battle Rap. So the antics, will they be there? Yeah. But will it be like a marked out situation? Absolutely mm -hmm. not. You know what I'm saying? So I think a Daylight Battle was called for in the sense that Daylight originated a lot of shit, too. Because when we found this nigga, he was down there spitting that shit, that same shit the Suns was spitting. You know what I'm saying? So we like, like what Crack City was doing, him and A.B. You know what I'm saying? Daylight was really one of them niggas out there. You know what I'm saying? And he was playing basketball, like, if you look at the behind-the-scenes shit with, like, Suns niggas and, and, like, the Crack City niggas, we play basketball and we battle rap. That's what we do really well. Like, we could do either one. So it was more like Daylight was a Sun nigga. You feel me? He was everything but stamped to be a Sun nigga. So to battle Daylight and kill him or for QP to battle Daylight and kill him, like, it, it's a good look. 
And my whole thing is, I ain't worried about nothing today. He ain't about to mark me out, but my whole thing is, like, that's the whole thing right here. You feel me? Like, he might think that he gonna get in there with me and try to pull some shit off like that. He just, I have seen him try before. I'm not going for that shit, bro. Like, flat out, I'm not going for that shit. At the same time, I'm not about to be responsible for fucking nobody he's been up, dog. I have to pay back and don't get, I'm just not going through it. They like going to stay where he at. They like going to stay where he at. And I'm staying right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, yo, Louie, I actually, uh, you know, uh, we, we had that dude Dot that on the Battle Rap Arena card, like our first event and shit. And, um, you know, he said Dot Mob. And it was funny, like, Norris made a comment, like, y'all niggas are like fucking roaches, y'all everywhere. I mean, like, I, like, how many people are y'all recruiting daily? Like, is there still more dot mom people to to pop up? I'm gonna be honest with you, right? We have a lot of a lot of a lot of artists. We have a lot of battle rappers, and we don't just put nobody out there without them actually being polishing, going through the waters. You know, like anytime we put somebody out. You know, anytime we put anybody out, any battle rapper, he's coming out out of nowhere, and everybody is like, where did he come from? Like, damn, this nigga nice. Like, when Kayshawn came, you know, he's naturally talented. Kayshawn has a natural gift, and a lot of people underestimated him. And look where he's at now. He, he passed a lot of battle rappers who've been doing it longer than him in a short period of time. So having a natural gift and you being around a person Rex, Mook, Dutch Brown, Nemesis, like these are the people that was actually going around when they had the mass ciphers battle, battling niggas on a corner, walking up to people blocks and just getting it in right then and there on the spot, you know what I'm saying? No time to prepare, you know, coming from that type of era, you know, you're hungry, you're thirsty, like you're, you're just more aware of what it is that your opponent is going to say and you can predict a lot of things about the person and stuff like that, you know. So we do have a lot of artists and a lot of members, and I'm not even going to lie, like if a nigga nice and I see potential, Rexy potential, Moosey potential, we're snatching them up, you know. We're going to snatch them up. I mean, Y'all niggas beat this fuck, bro. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but you no. Know, without without y'all, though, wouldn't be no 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 competition for us, though. But at the end of the day, you know, it's all love in my eyes. You know, here to do music and and just give a show off to the fans and shit like that. You understand? Like, even I had a battle before. You know what I'm saying? It got paid for. You know, and you know, just be, it just be like yeah. that. You know. Cause you, I ain't gonna lie to you, and y'all ain't garbage, cause y'all was garbage, I, so I tell you y'all was garbage, y'all niggas ain't garbage for shit, like 99% of y'all niggas can't fuck with you. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's a little bit. That's good, man. Hey, bro. Hey, Sean can't fuck with you, bro. And I'm saying, man, there's only one way to find out, man. You know, it's always a stage, money, and three rounds, man. Come <laughs> Stage, money, and three rounds. Ain't none, of the, ain't none of them three that you just said a problem. Ain't none <laughs> of them three you just said a problem. And when the time is right, you know, we're going to sit down and we're going to do it right, you know? Like I said, it's, it's, it's to me, everybody, I look at everybody has to meet everybody at least one time. You understand? You got that's, just a, that's just you got a sport, you know? You know, some people may not be ready, but it's going to be a time when they are. Mm. You know, but just know that any dot mom, every dot mom member is ready, you know, everyone. Every last one. Yeah, I see. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I'm going to see. Yeah, more people. Ain't going to be nobody left in the I, I tell you like this, man. You know, you know when when that slaughterhouse rap battle come out on MTV two, man, you gonna you gonna see the reason why Dot Mall been playing with nobody. That's what's up. Man, when when it come out, out. yeah, I got I, I, man. <laughs> Jesse, Jesse know about that um, that session that we had, you know. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm Dot Mall. I'm Dot Mall. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah I know Jesse, know Jesse, Jesse. Jesse Dot Mall too. Y'all forgot. <laughs> nah, I ain't even though y'all don't know. be there, I have my battles. It's all good though. <laughs> yeah, Je Je Jesse, Jesse Dotmar though. Jesse Dotmar. 
Trust me, just you won't let me forget. Oh, you can't live in New York. You you you, you can't live in New York if you ain't Dot Mom. Yeah, I, I, I think I think one out of every five people in Battle Rap World is Dot Mom. You know, I like <laughs> one out of every five people walking the streets is Dot Mom. Yeah, yeah, y'all got Big Cannon now, right? Big Cannon is Dot Mom now, right? Yeah, for real. I can't. Yeah, I'm just what Cannon Dot Mom? Huh? <laughs> This is what I heard. No, Big Cannon. Big Cannon is that mom. This is what I heard. I don't believe that. I got to get confirmation. I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to be the one to speak on it, but, you know. Slow it again, money. Slow it again. Big Cannon can fit into that mob. What? <laughs> Yo, what, what about the innuendo versus dot mob? Yeah, that's what that, that's what that's I mean, I'm saying, you see, Jesse, we can't let you try to get out of the back seat. My, we can't <laughs> get out of the back seat to the front seat. All right, so we got announcements. All right, my bad, my bad. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah, innuendo versus dot mob, of course, my nigga. You can't it's going to Rex know he got to die. He got to die, and there's only one nigga that could kill him in any window. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you right something now. right now. The next subject. I, don't, I, don't see nobody, I don't see nobody putting Rex in a position that he will lose. He's so unorthodox. That's number one. Number two, I have a secret weapon that I'm just waiting to pull out the bag. Just waiting. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. That will annihilate anybody's crew by himself. Wow. That's how, I'm gonna tell you right now, man. He's like he's like a tiger, lion, shark, a bear, an ape put together, man. Have, have we seen him before, or he's he's gonna make a, an appearance? He he's That's been not around like to make a whole jungle book. I ain't yeah. lying, my nigga. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. I got something for you. We got something, man. I, I just, I'm not gonna say his name, man, because when they come out, he's gonna be like, damn, we got some jokes, my nigga. That mom got into me. <laughs> they about to yeah. talk around and make it not. Who's all niggas that got in that mom? These niggas that got GZ and that mom. That'd be cool. Young GZ and that mom. Y'all niggas got somebody in that mom. Cause you talking about yo, yo, yo. Just wait, son. I'm telling you. I'm telling mm -hmm. you. Just wait. <laughs> Who's all niggas that got in that mom? Yeah. yeah. Meat meal and that mom. This shit is crazy. What's going on, man? I'm shutting everything good. I'm on the phone. This bat rattle arena right now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm at the bar right now. I'm about to um go inside here and chill with the owners and everything like that, you know, to make this business politic move right now. You know, um, I respect y'all craft, my man. Y'all keep doing what y'all doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Stay loyal to your crew and shit like that, Jesse. Thanks for um allowing me to call in. This is my first time ever calling in because I really don't be really – trying to be too much in tune hey, outside hey. the battle world oh, when we man. not at the battle, you know what I'm saying? But ain't nothing wrong with it, though, you know what I'm saying? Because niggas do live different type of lives and shit, but y'all niggas keep doing what y'all doing, QP, clean, and I'm definitely going to see y'all at the next event that we all leave up back, you know what I'm saying? Like I, like I said, rest, hey. rest in peace to your man, Joe. I, I only got a chance to meet him once. Yeah. Um, but he's mad cool people. Talked yeah, he was the him. president. He was the president of Dot Marvin, you know. So, you know, right now, like I said, man, you know, got to take it one day at a time and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm strong. I got a good support system. His family got a good support system. We all supporting each other right now. You know, I thank everybody, you know, for their condolences and everything like that, man. And y'all take care, right? Hey, I just want to say. I just want to say shout out to them fuck ass haters that tuned in listening right now. Yeah, fuck yeah. nigga, I was talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, yo, if anybody listening to me, y'all want to follow me on Twitter's Louis the Thirteen on Instagram, it's Mister Louis the Thirteen. You know, and that's about it, though, man. All right, All right. Yeah. Look, you want to take some fan calls? You got a couple questions or? Nah, nah, we can go to the fans. I know we got some fans that want to talk to each other. Uh, 443, you there? 443? Four, four, we lost him. Okay, let's go. Uh, 718, you there? I know 718 there. Uh, oh, yeah, you're right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, you already, 
Uh, Yo, Queen, you cannot me. tell this. You cannot tell this nigga that you lost a battle, son. Oh, please. Please. We got I, 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 yo, I think we have your biggest fan on the line. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What up? Cause I ain't even gonna talk to you the whole time, man. You gotta change your name. But my nigga Queen Paper, bro, you always doing all this stuff. I was telling niggas, bro. I was telling niggas they ain't wanna believe me, bro. They ain't wanna believe me. <laughs> Can't believe it. Can't believe it, man. Gotta have haters, my nigga. You gotta have haters, my nigga. If you ain't got the hey, my nigga. If you if, if I ain't got no haters, my nigga, I'll be, be wanting to kill. My, I, I gotta go look for haters, my nigga. I gotta go look for haters, my nigga. You get drunk, and then, and then when you don't look for them, that's when they come, my nigga. You gotta have the haters, my nigga. You got to. Yeah. Shout out to yeah. the fucking haters that's listening right now. And yes, fuck boy, I'm talking to you. That's the haters <laughs> that's listening right now. You know who the fuck you are. I'm not saying your name no more because you ain't getting no more fame on just speaking fucking show. You fucking lame. Back to my man. Go ahead, my nigga. Get it off. Ooh, you feel me? That, that was tight right there. But nah, yo, last time you was on, you got cut off. I, I even had some real questions for you because I ain't going to just sit here and tell you how great you is and all that. But word, um, first off, in the K-Rock battle, you said... uh. You said... No, no, no. It was after the K-Rock battle. Whoever you battled out there, you said... um. Rock grabs around, no, rock, rock grabs around, you won't get a chance to grasp that. So with that whole thing, which you wasn't bringing thirds, were you only bringing two rounds and then just kind of making it up as you go, or were you Hold just on, bringing the third round? Oh, because I said rock got the third round right against Bill Selection. Like, like, yeah, there you go, there you go. <laughs> I mean, it was just like, it was all time-consuming, though, like when it, when it come down to it, it was time-consuming. It wasn't like I was just like, I'm just not going to write a third, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, I'm doing so much and trying to juggle life with this fake ass shit at the same time, you feel me? And shit, at the end of the day, I can't let this fake ass shit fuck up what's going on, you know what I'm saying? So it was just all time consuming, like by the time I get around to it, then this shit is like, damn, you know what I'm saying? You ain't mean for that to happen, but damn, you yeah. know? So now I talk about preparation when you got to get yourself at a better state in your life to where you can sit down and, and you can do that now. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm at a point where I can do that. So I can jump back on the team. You know what I'm saying? And give the people the clean paper that they really want. They getting them back. You know what I'm saying? For however many battles, y'all got me back. Bro. Uh, that's the first, like that's the first. Whoever ain't booking me on a fucking car, they stupid. Agreed. <laughs> now the second, um, Young Cannon. Uh, now after the battle, everybody was kind of, oh, kind of went both ways. You know, fans of you, we was kind of thinking like maybe you, it was set up like a joke, like you just really wasn't taking them serious, or was it a, or was it a genuine slip up? Because against John John, which finally came out the vote in the third round, you you had the phone too, and that seemed like just to get the last bit of your round. You know what I'm saying? So if, if this what it was, one, this what it was. The difference the difference in that the difference in that was I really had a phone screen for John John. You feel me? But like as I pulled the phone out, you know, and got boo like was looking up for what the, the fuck I was doing, you feel me? Like they wasn't trying to hear that. So what I did was cut that screen, you feel me, and then boom, went back into some shit that cause I originally wrote two parts for it. You know what I'm saying? It was just in case this don't work out. You know what I'm saying? So I had the round, like, the Young Cannon, like, I just didn't, like, I just didn't, like, I feel like I probably owe Cannon a rematch. Because, like, Ooh. it was just, like, no effort. Like, so if he feel like he, like, he, like, I beat the shit out of myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was no effort at all, like, even put into that. Uh, so... Uh, and then the third, um, this is something I heard you say. I think you actually tweeted it before. You said uh, you and Hitman actually battled before. Is that yeah, a fact? Hitman battled before. Oh, oh man, it's well, like you got to run us through this. You got to run us through this, how it happened. Yeah, I'm going I'm 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 to run, I'm going to run you through it because, you know, I, I think he's seen this. I, I, I think he, he tend to, like, try to throw that out his mind like that didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I'm going to say. We met up on the parking lot, the Chuck E. Cheese, at 12 at night. He had some dude who was who was pumping him at the time. My cousin from from St. Louis was, and my uncle from St. Louis was uh, Free J-Bo. 
was putting the money behind him, you feel me? And so they knew the dude who was who he was fucking with on some music shit. And like I was just real heavy into that shit then. So he was like he just mentioned him, like I got a young dude, you know what I'm saying, who be going around battling. So like me being hungry then, I jumped up, who be battling? My man's be battling. I told him I'll fuck him up. He called him. Um shit, he came up there with the big girl. Or we we all was on the Chuck E. Cheese lot. Something happened with the camera to where it ain't recorded, but shit, we went like we went on some old smack regulation type shit, like ten rounds, like on some real shit, like back and forth, like for for, for at least about an hour and a half, like we was gone, like we was gone. You know what I'm saying? So just like that's what Louis was just saying, like that shit ain't like that no more. Like to where it was just the on the spot shit. Like you ain't got no time for preparation. You know what I'm saying? You better have them verses ready, and that's what that shit was. And that was back then when everybody was punching crazy. So I used to punch heavy. You know what I'm saying? I used to punch real heavy. That's why I say niggas got a child to slow, because I used to punch like way back in the day. Okay, see, I seen it. I seen, like, I, I see bits and pieces of what you're saying and stuff. And that was something I, I asked, like, uh, I think Remy was on the show. I asked him if he seen it. Just a couple of those, because I know y'all so close to Midwest. And, I mean, that St. Louis and Detroit stuff. I know a lot of y'all. Yeah, all that's the whole thing. There was no battle rap niggas there. Like, it was no battle rap niggas there. His, his little show out was there. His little brother was there. That was it. And the rest of it was just like, uh, it was a bunch of, uh, just just a, a bunch of older niggas who, who get money around. You feel me? And us two young niggas going at it. See, that's what it was. And the last, actually, this is the last one. I mean, you you mentioned Swayze, and I, I never even thought of that, but I think that would be dope. Definitely you and Swayze, and, and, and both with people ducking Swayze, and then you back looking for a matchup. I think that could be a classic. But Skull called you out a little while ago. Why? What's, what's up with that? So, I ain't bad on Skull. Skull, I mean, like, I done chilled with Skull before. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't about to battle no nigga who I done chilled with. Like, that's my man. You feel me? Like, I mean, at the end of the day, I ain't going to let me, let me rephrase that. If the paper makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's all about the paper route. If the paper route makes sense, then, you know what I'm saying, I'll run it. But, like, other than that, like, it ain't no bad one for recreation. You feel me? I fuck with Skull. That's my home. Boy, every time I go to New York, I fuck with that. So, and the hard right, way shit go, you never know what the future may be hold. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. like sometime this year. You never know. I need that. I you need that, know. man. I need that. Jesse and uh, Psycho, man, I appreciate y'all giving me this time. Y'all know I needed this in my life, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, same thing had this me. I got this interview with Clean Paper, so I'm good, bro. QP Sons, you got to <laughs> change your name, bro. Quantum Phoenix, <laughs> change your name, bro. <laughs> oh, you shit. Lost. You lost, brother. 3-0. I'm sorry about that. You was close in the second round, but it wasn't good enough. Sorry, brother. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah I, you can't say that without letting him respond to that. Right, so that's what I'm saying. Hold on, I want to ask him, like, how do you feel about our run? You know what? I'm, I wasn't actually a, a full fan of, of QP, and, and mo mostly for that reason in the slave battle. I think I got kind of caught up in that. So, it, you know what I mean, it just, the overall impression that y'all never really took time to look. But I, I was impressed by some of this stuff. I got the same gripes I got with Heartless, though. I think y'all punch, but the delivery is just not, you know what I'm saying, it ain't, it ain't there at, you know what I'm saying, where it's, like, aggressive enough. I don't really know what it, what it is, you know. You, you got one of the best pin games. I can give you that. But my boy cleaned right the floor to that first and that third, man. He, man, come on, bro. Like, nah. You lost. You lost, bro. You lost, but you you did you did great, bro. I, I, I give you that, but you lost. So I lost three zip or two one. I'm trying to get this clear real quick. Two one. If I give him the first, I give you the second. I give clean the first and that third. Yeah, two one. Two one. Yeah, I definitely didn't lose two one, but okay. You know, what I'm, I'm gonna definitely take that as my note pad real quick. I mean, I'd have said, said 3 0, but I was trying to be generous. Niggas know I'm biased on here. Like, they already know, man. You could get that 3 0 if you want to write that down instead. But. I, 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 no doubt, no doubt. No All right. <laughs> Thanks for the call. <laughs> That's like asking Jesse who, who, um, 
what do you think? Who, who won between Rex and X and Search Battle Rapper here? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> he was going to clean, clean. You don't say Rex. You're not mom, nigga. What do you think? Yeah, <laughs> it was well mannered. It was well mannered. Yeah, yeah, two one, two one. You know what? Like well when mannered. I first started this shit, I used to be snapping off the fans' opinion and shit. Like you can't snap on the. Like somebody told me, like, "Get clean. You gotta calm down, bro. Like you can't snap on every fucking fan who say you garbage, bro. Like you, it's fans out there who think we all garbage. You know what I'm saying? So you, or even if they don't think you garbage and they think you took an L, like, L, like it don't matter. Like I respect them. You know what I'm saying? People gonna say. Way worse shit to you, not a her way worse, like on some non battle oh, yeah. rap shit. So. Yo, it's not, yo, but you know what? It's not only you guys, not only battle rappers. Uh, we missed a couple weeks on the show. Fucking fans talking about we're dead, like they want to. Uh, rest <laughs> like uh, Jesse Reagan die, you fat fuck, or you know, like all this other shit. I mean, like, damn, y'all really feel that way? All right, you know? Yeah, no, man. <laughs> <laughs> as, as can be loose. But he, he, you know, he's respectful. He just, um, you know, he, he's a big clean paper fan. <laughs> Let's go, uh, 719, you there? Yo, what's good? What's yeah, up, what's good? Up? Oh, nothing, chilling, chilling. Uh, yeah, where you guys been? Did you guys switch your time or, like, because cause I noticed on early right now, I mean... <laughs> I, I've been trying yeah, to like you know check out check out the show or look at stuff online. I mean, I have seen the, you know some battles uploaded and shit like that. But like, is, that, you is, know, it, is this Drew? This Drew? No, 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 man. Nah, nah. Um, yeah, we still around. We still around. Um, yeah, we did change our time. We on eight p.m. Eastern now. Oh, okay. So yeah, six, and then uh, still where? So, yeah, like we, a. We 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, uh, um, you in Oakland, right? No, 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 no. I'm out in CO, so. Oh, okay, but, okay. Uh, That's uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, Hello, yo. Rock your time. But, yeah, man, I was just checking it out and shit like that. Oh. Uh, when was the last time you guys were on shit? Uh, so not the Wednesday that just passed, the Wednesday before that. We had the Immaculate on. You guys been, uh, what did, what do you think about that Rum Nitty and uh, uh, Tycoon Tax battle and shit I like that? I was talking like about that. that. Um, I, I gave it to um, Rum Nitty. I think Nitty. there was a stolen, oh, yeah. I think there was a stolen bar in there, but that's my opinion. From Rum Nitty or from uh, Tycoon? Rum Nitty, I, Sharon, the 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 Simpsons Dome movie. That straight oh, from Sharon. Oh, that shit was that was shit was a minute ago though, wasn't that? That shit was a. Uh, it doesn't what, mean that it's not a boy in bar. No, it no, I you. I tell you. you. Yeah. It's probably yeah, but uh, yeah, that was against our game. Yo, it, it, the yeah. thing that was it was almost per verbatim. That's the thing that fucks me up. Oh yeah, like, the way it was set up and everything, and set, it was set, it was set pretty much like you know what I mean the same way. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. My man say Rum Nitty be wearing the tight ass snapbacks, dog. Oh, wow. <laughs> How the fuck is your shit adjustable and as tight as hell? If you got a tight ass snapback, you don't wear the tight ass snapback. Yeah. Now, this shit is ridiculous. They got skinny jeans. We're not about to do this skinny ass snapback shit, bro. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, man. I had a, what what do you think about since uh, since Sharon and shit like that is going uh going at Pat State and shit like that? I think he lost his thesaurus and shit like that. So I, I, mean, I didn't. I, I think didn't he got a killed. To see the thesaurus battle, yeah. Oh man, yeah, I'm sorry for ruining it for you, but he got his shit fucking eight, man. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I, I ain't get a check. I get it. I didn't get a chance to uh, check out the battle. Uh, what what battle league was that on uh, for uh, QP and was that was that for you guys at URL or uh, Syndicate Cartel, I believe. Right. Oh, for real? Yeah. And, and that's yeah, 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 right? yeah, You guys are there. Uh, you guys you. in the building, my nigga. Mo in the building, my nigga. My nigga Remedy in the building. All right. Oh, so Remedy, what up? What's happening? Damn, really? Oh, this is real. We we die, man. Yeah, man. Y'all in New York? We out there this weekend. It's fair, listen. What's up, man? What's up, man? Oh man, we we good. We in there in your window. We in your window. We in your window. Yeah, man. But before I get out of here, before you put me on mute, cycle, let me ask Remedy a question real quick. Yeah, right now Remedy in the spun off in the traffic, man. Uh, oh, for real? Yeah. Yeah, he just spun off in the trap. Still looking, Jay. Still looking. Thanks for the call. Oh, no. Okay. Here you go. Here you go. All right, one. What's that? Thanks for the call. Let's go, um, 757, you there? 757? Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, what's oh. up? Yeah, yeah, we're oh, yeah, good. good. Yo, what's going on, fellas, man? What's going on? Yeah, man, I'm I'm with oh, shit. shit, this got now it's cool as shit. You got both of these niggas up here for I've been following that got now. Twitter beef all damn shit. Weak as hell, man. Y'all funny as hell, bro. But yeah, yeah, now, yeah. Right on. But nah, I had a question though, man. They kinda touched on the whole like daylight situation and shit and that's kinda what I wanted to do too, with like either one of you would just bow to him, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all said it's about competition and shit, you know. They like brain bars and shit. So I was just trying to figure out what y'all proud of him, you know what I'm saying? Just off the strength of just bars and shit. Uh, we we, uh, we kind of touched that on that earlier, but I mean... If you yeah, that's what I answer, said. That, that's what I'm saying. I, already, I know y'all did, but I'm just saying what they just take on what they take on, you know what I'm saying? Without, you know what I'm saying, the answers and all that shit. Nope. The, uh, oh, shit. Well, well, shit. Well, really, well, really, well, really, well, really clean, clean. Clean and shit, cause that's really, you know, what I'm saying, who I would want to see. They like, you know, what I'm saying, battle clean and shit. No, like I can't. I, we yeah, we talked about that earlier. I can't go against that. Like, oh, okay, true, true, true. Cause true, I feel true. like, like, what shit? What like, shit? They like, like, they like is an extra ass nigga, bro. Like, you gotta understand that, dog. I'm about to tell you, like, I can't. He's an extra nigga, dog. You feel me? First yeah. off, like, if you come to the ring with anything in a mini skirt. With a weird on and some pumps, I'm not fucking battling you. Any motherfucking gimmick you try to pull, like you come in like it's forfeit, I will give that lead, that motherfucking money back. It's not about that. You feel me? Being second, like, they like feel like you got to put his hands on people, like, and I'm just not a put your hands on me type of person, dog. Like, and that ain't going to be no good look. So, like, I can't, like, I would love to put on that show. You feel me? But, yeah. like, they like just don't know how. So, and just because I said that, Daylight is going to say, I'm going to be a real nigga. <laughs> when, I, when I see him, I'm going to put my hands on him. I'm going to, I, I got to, on the camera, I'm going to put my hands on clean paper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's just what it is. That's how Daylight feel. And, like, I'm not, there, like, I'm not going for, like, I done seen what you do it, you know what I'm saying? And like, I can't, like, that's not a match like that. I don't think that's going to happen, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel I'm that, man. Here. I mean, because like I, I mean, like y'all said, you know what I mean? I feel you, because like you said, it's a life outside of battle. But see, he's not going to try that angle with, he can battle Randy D or Q. Like, he's not going to try that angle with y'all. You feel me? He's going to try that angle with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The nigga, the nigga was talking about the nigga was pouring water on that like man, like come on man, like I'm not about to <laughs> yeah. that shit, bro. Like I'm not about to, not what on my two on my my three hundred fifty dollar phones, nigga. You got me fucked up, sir. 
I said, this whole bitch, I'll fight everybody in this bitch, nigga. I don't give a <laughs> fuck, bro. <laughs> Like you said that, you know, he he said he pretty much tried those antics with like the cats, you know what I'm saying, that that girl on that persona that got like that street, you know, that street nigga persona and shit, he pulled the antics on more of those cats like that, you know. That's why I look at it See, at. I'm not like, but, I ain't even worried, like, I ain't even worried about that. I just know that he just bought an extra mile to win a battle, you feel me, but. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't gonna win it, and he's clever as fuck. You feel me? So I feel I, I, I got a home. Certain shit that he, certain shit that he do to other niggas, like I'm just not gonna allow that shit. So I feel you. I feel you. I mean, uh, much respect. I mean, I feel that too, man. It's just, it's a life outside of battle rap and shit. I got a home. Um, I got another question. I got one for quantum physics and shit too. The science, um, mm-hmm. certain quantum physics shit. Hey, uh, would you ever, like, are you even thinking about, like, even battling, like, some kind of any any kind of venue that deal with URL and shit? Because for real, for real, you got bars and shit, bro. But I think, I think you should really get back on that stage and shit in the URL format. You're basically asking them, is it, and for, are you basically asking them if you would do a PG if it came down to it, or? Yeah, like, just any kind of thing. Yeah, something like that, like, you know what I'm saying, just... Get back, because it seemed like he pretty much in this heartless shit. Like, he barring niggas to death outside on other leagues and shit. And I got down. I'm trying to see him on, like, a different stage, like KOTD again and shit. Or or URL, you know what I mean? Because y'all thought it was dope as fuck. Like, I can't even pick a winner, yo. I mean, I mean, the answer is, like, yes or no with the PG joint. Because, you know what I'm saying, the PG has always been an offer that you can, yeah, sure. It's that, you know, saying an offer that was offered to me. It's just that I don't know my nigga, like where I'm at in my bathroom. Really do this shit like as a business. So it's like <clears throat> working yeah. pro bono at this point in my career would be crazy. I mean, like, I'd rather just stay home and go so I can get paid for that. You know what I'm saying? Before I would do that. And the second thing would be like, okay, I'm battling QP, which is nigga that has one of the greatest PGs of all time, if not the greatest PG of all time. You know what I'm saying? We have yeah. a class where you can say, one or the other one, you know what I'm saying? Or you can say he won. Either way, but my nigga, you gonna put that nigga in the PG? You can't put that nigga to battle <laughs> that nigga to battle that nigga in the PG. My nigga. Yeah. If you don't understand that, my nigga. I, and then, like, when you be like, what niggas is using on the main stage as far as schemes, bars, like, nigga, like, styles of punches? Like, if I see my shit on that stage and I'm on a PG stage, my nigga, at, at, at the end of this day, my nigga, at the end of this day, <laughs> yeah, my nigga. Shit, I might as well battle daylight and let and, and get marked out because I'm gonna mark myself out there. Right? <laughs> so, uh, bro, like, real shit, real shit, bro. Like, bro, I even yeah. said that shit. I think I tweeted you like months ago. Like, bro, you and Chilla gotta happen, dog. On the car, you and Chilla and fucking Queen Paper and JC, dog. Real shit, bro. Real shit, bro. I respect what Chilla. I respect what Chilla have done. You know what I'm saying with his career, as far as like you know what I'm saying, being the mirror image of myself, just with JC's voice for battle rap. And I just be like, that's cool. <laughs> like, 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 that's cool to me that he did everything and he he's earned his shit. So I'm gonna kill bricks really quickly. You know what I'm saying, real quick. Black ice cream. That's gonna be a good one, yo. I'm gonna kill Bricks. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. But like, Bricks is my nigga. He's a son nigga, like I'm a son nigga. But it's just more like, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna kill that nigga. Like, man, that's my nigga. I'm gonna kill that nigga. Like, I'm not blowing no smoke up nobody that, especially Bricks. I wouldn't be a chimney. Like, I'm like, I'm gonna kill that nigga. So when that's, that's done, good. then I'm gonna get Chilla on Black Ice Cartel. Since so King of the Dot, this is the thing with King of the Dot. Lush one's my brother. I love him to death. You know what I'm saying? But it's more like King King of the Dot is like, I don't know. I'm running Grind Time West Coast now, so it's like I think the business is strained over there. So I'm going to be doing a whole lot of fucking yeah, business with Black Ice Cartel. You feel what I'm saying to you? And I'm going to be yeah, yeah, the headline battles that they want to see. So, is it more like politics to get into like, like Queen was saying, more like politics? Because like I said, you and that shit definitely got to happen. And, then, and I won't clean about a JC, man. That shit's only right, bro. Both of them niggas got wordplay like that, so. That shit definitely got to happen, dog. Yeah, I know. It, it's got to happen. Chilla knows it's got to happen and shit like that. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just has to be. Nigga, 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 nigga use bird schemes like when I use bird schemes. Come on, nigga. Just yeah, that yeah you, were tweet, you were tweeting that shit. Yeah, tweeted that shit to me. I actually watched that battle. Yeah, tweeted me that link and shit. It was some months back and shit because I was talking about that shit. And I was like, that would be a good matchup and shit. 
you, you doing extensive photo schemes and all this shit. Like, it's, it's sickening to me. Chilla Jones, he, he's definitely a character, my nigga. Like, he's a character, my nigga. But he made that scheme shit. Like, he made it pop, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you was doing it, but he made that shit. You know what I mean? I, I guess like, he brought it right back That's around and kind of, like, stick out more, I guess. It's, it's, it's weird, though. The, the wordplay and scheme shit, I, I didn't have, like, like I said, another, like, two million views at this shit before. Like, we even heard of the Chilla Jones. Like, say before you even think of Chilla Jones. Like, I got two million views already with schemes. So it's more like the nigga watched my shit. In Beantown, like, yep, I'm a boss, man, because I'm in Beantown, I'm a boss, man, I'm in Beantown, I'm going to study this footage, and then I'm going to drop and spit this shit on Smack. And then that's what he did, and I respect that he took it to Smack, just like I respect that Khan took Slow It Down to Smack. When me and Khan and Heartless talked about Slow It Down, I just dissed you, and we talked about where we were going to deploy it and where it was going to be, have the most impactful result, and we decided mm-hmm. that Khan and Smack going to be, and you know, Heartless is a riddle, like, selfless nigga, so when it comes down to, like, bars, when we got them, and we like, oh, this shit would kill niggas, it's like, you know what I'm saying, a lot of that shit would go to Khan to the point to where, like, nigga, anybody's dead to step in front of that man, now, Khan's on his, you know what I'm saying, doing his shit now, and he's more like on his own shit, so if you see Khan's yeah. doing his work, that's all Khan, my nigga, because all of us sons is in our own different world. So he I mean, did, so he did originate that, he originated that slow it down shit, because I heard, like, different and shit, like, I heard it was another nigga, nah, look, like, that got a tattoo and shit. Nah, no, there's interviews with Khan and Hartley speaking on the slow it down and how we came up with it, so I mean, I don't know how that could have got third party when there's actually footage on that. It's more like we was we was joking around, you know what I'm saying, he got a suspended license, you know what I'm saying, he don't got a lie saying his L's is suspended. And it was just a joke. Slow it down. I just this you. He don't got a license. His L's is suspended. That's why he don't got a lie. Since his L's is suspended. Like, you drive a, a hybrid, right? So how do you put in your Honda Accord? Like, you drive a hybrid, how do you plug in your Honda Accord? Slow it down. You drive a hybrid, how do you plug in your Honda uh, Accord? Now, nigga, it was, it was a joke. And Tom was like, nah, that shit. He's like, nah, that shit's hot. That, shit, that, that shit's hot, QQ. You got to take that to the stage. I'm like, nigga, I'm not taking that shit to the stage. Nigga, say I'm a cornball as is. I'm talking about slow it down. I just dissed you. That's the corniest shit I ever heard. And the kind was like, nah, it's hot. Took it to the stage, shit went well. That's his shit. Nothing else up to talk about. Like, I don't even like getting into uh, that. True shit. Next true question. Shit. Uh-huh. That's true shit. True shit. Well, shit, man, like I said, man, I fuck with y'all battle, man, and I and I appreciate y'all for what's having me on this shit, man. Y'all keep doing what y'all do, man. I'm just a fan of the battle rap culture, man. I appreciate it, bro. <laughs> yo, I would like to see QP versus DNA, yo. Uh, Quant battle of the missing tooth and battle of the chip tooth. Because look, the thing yeah. about DNA, is that DNA, <laughs> DNA knows like that. we had this records for DNA. DNA knows if he jumps on that stage with me after building his career to where it's at, it's just gonna tumble after one battle because all of his wordplay and word association and it'll all be called into question after one damn battle. Because you know how battle rap fans get out here. One battle, you just trash. Like they don't remember shit. You ten battle win streak, they don't give a fuck. Maybe you trash after that win loss. So it's like it's good, you know what I'm saying? But DNA's my guy, you know what I'm saying? Charlie Clip, those are my guys, you know what I'm saying? Fox fucks with them niggas, so I fuck with them through Fox. It's good, you know what I'm saying? Sons, my nigga that's one that's the best excuse cap, whatever money. That's what's up. You ain't lying about the battle rap fans, though. You, you're only as good as your last battle. <laughs> you're only as good as your last battle. That's true. That's, That's what they said. Nope. Uh, not all of them, but a lot of them. Let's go uh, 812, you there? Yeah, what up, y'all? Yeah, we're good. What up? Not much, man. What I feel like Jones is uh, Quantum physics up there looking like. Three dollar dollar general glass is looking like an extra from Big Bang Theory in comic book store and shit. What's going on, man? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> like crazy looking like George Jefferson without the receiving airline. <laughs> That's how you feel. There's a dog spot. He looking like a young fuck Dr. Spock. There's a dog spot out covering shit. What's going on, Clay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a silly one. We got a silly one. Yeah, we got a, we got a character. I can see how you look. I swear to God, I'll take your ass, bro. I swear to God, I'll take your fuck out of you, bro, if I can see how you look right now, bro. I'm in the and I'm blown, bro. Listen, bro, I'm blown. I'm in that mo- bro. I'm in the face of my mouth. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Dr. Mills, the dog's fat ass. 
Man, you better get to your questions, man. Don't even get me started, man. Oh, <laughs> right, yeah, I just wanted to fuck around the clown, man. I'm going to holler at y'all. <laughs> oh, man. Crazy. Oh, y'all be having silly niggas calling me in, too, huh? <laughs> Let's go. I'm gonna give you my own hour. This motherfucker, I've been killed about six niggas on the line, faking their ass back, back, and back. <laughs> back. Well, fuck you, you got the call. I'm killing. Yo, <laughs> yo, four, four, three. Yo, what's good, y'all? Can y'all hear me? Yeah, what's good? Yeah, huh? yeah, yo, yo, I just want to say, you know, good battle, good comeback for clean. You know what I mean? Um, it was good to see, like, you know, a full three rounds from that nigga and shit, man. I remind everybody of when, you know, you, when you first came out with the PGs and shit, man. Good battle, yo. And, um, hey, hey yo, Miss Gracie was on the show, and she recently, you know, she, she was asking fans, like, when, you know, the first time the Say It Again slogan was introduced, and everybody thought it was, you know, Be Magic versus you, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, but everybody was wrong. Huh? It wasn't though. When, when was it though? That wasn't the first. Time. When was the first that time? The, the first time was great. You said that because the first time I ever did that shit in the ring, it was originated because like, me and my brother used to just go to the club and battle motherfuckers. And I said uh, my bar and the old nigga kept telling me to say it again. After that, is that, is that, on, like is that my that brother just you? fucking around, just just like on some innuendo shit, my brother just fucking around was like, nigga, you should take that shit in the ring, nigga. And I'm like, nigga, I'm not taking that shit in the ring, nigga. That shit garbage, nigga. And she, <laughs> and then she booked me on her car, and I ended up battling Lance. And when I battled Lance in Chicago, I was spitting it. Then my man just was like, nigga, say it again. So I'm like, fuck it. Say it again. Boom, I'm to find out. You feel me? And I say it again and say it again. You feel me? Is that battle on YouTube? Is that battle on YouTube? Uh, yeah, it's on YouTube. I think QP vs. Lance. Oh, Yo, oh all right. All right, cool. You can go look at it right now. All right, cool. Now, I'm not sure Chicago if anybody battle. asked you. Oh, you said Chicago Battlegrounds? Yeah, Chicago Battlegrounds. QP vs. Lance. All right, cool, cool, cool. Now, I'm not sure if anybody, you know, asked you this question, but, like, you know, uh, a while ago, Averb had put something on uh, Twitter saying, you know, uh, th this was when he was going back and forth with Ill Will. He was like, yo, um, the only reason why fans like Ill Will is because they miss QP. You know what I mean? Um, do you see any type of similarity between, like, you and Ill Will, you know what I'm saying? And would you ever battle Ill Will? Because, you know, you, you kind of, I mean, Ill Will kind of, resembles you in a way, you know what I'm saying? What I, I mean, similarities, the only, I mean, the, the thing, I'm going I'm to say this. I heard that before, but the whole thing <laughs> is, like, all, all, like, all we doing, like, is just, like, it will bring his real personality to the ring, just like I bring my real personality to the sure, ring. True, true, true. So, like that, you might see a similar, like, as far as, like, do you sound alike? No. Like, we don't set up alike. You know, like, my setup up way different from Ill Will set up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done heard JC sound like me, though. I done heard my man Cash even sound like me. I done heard me and Cash. I done heard all of us sound like probably just because of the area and the accent. Yeah, the Michigan. You know, yeah. yeah. It's foreign, it, like, it's foreign to, it, like, it's, it's foreign to y'all, so we all would sound alike to y'all, because it, it's foreign to y'all, you know what I'm saying, but the only similarity I see, like I said, is, um, I just, um, you know, we both bring our real personality to the ring, that's yeah, all, like, real, real, like, 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 when that boy, like, when he told him, nigga, that bitch looked like a long-ass banana clip, like, nigga, he said that shit, because, nigga, it's like, like, that's how we be, like, shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you, I mean, you would battle Ill Will, right? You say what I would? Yeah, would you would battle, battle Ill Will? Yeah. Yeah. But if Ill Will would battle me, you know what I'm saying, like, in the, in the right circumstances, it was like, because, like, that's my man. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, 
Like, that's that's my dog, you know what I'm saying? Like, same shit. Like, my man just was talking about J.C., like, them is my man, you know what I'm saying? Them, yeah, yeah. At one point in time, I was feeling like anybody could just still be for shit. If the brand yeah. right and the right person setting that shit up, then yeah. I right, so, so basically, you know, like, I don't see why not. Like, it ain't going to put no harm in his career. It ain't going to put no harm in my career. It I ain't shit but a battle. So, so, so basically, like, like I mean, who would, would you want to see? Who would you want to see next on the UL phase now that you're back? You know what I'm saying? Like, who would you want to see next on the UL stage? Who would I want to battle next? Yeah. Uh, like, who really doing anything right now? Kayshawn? 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 He's going to call out Arsenal, too, right? He's going to talk about Arsenal. He's going to talk about reality, though, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, since the beginning of the time, these battle rap niggas that had these Hollywood attitudes, you feel me? So, like, I'm trying to think, Kayshawn popped into mind soon as you said, but I'm trying to, like, we, we don't think it's a reality, you feel me? Because Kayshawn still, like, you know, he live in L.A., he in Hollywood, you know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, he got a, he got a uh, star on the Walk of Fame and all that shit, so. <laughs> <laughs> nah, all right. So we going to leave that nah, Hollywood man. shit where it's at, you know what I'm saying? This but that'll no be a good-ass battle, him. too, man. k yeah, and uh, K-T and you know, that, that, that was that, like, if, if, if this was still a Titan sport, my nigga, then that shit would be part. This ain't no Titan sport, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Just like, like, you feel me? Like, just like I, like, what I really want to see, like, for real, for real, I want to see Chilla Jones versus, versus NUNWP. Man, I don't want to see that shit, man. I don't want, nah, I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. Yeah, that'd be a good battle, too. Yeah, I'll fuck with you. I want to yeah. see it. You feel me? Like, just off the strength of, like, the scheme and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's another battle I want to see? I want to see Ty Law versus Teams. Yeah. I want to see yeah, I feel you. Who else? My bad. My bad. I'm smoking, too. So I can't. So, you know what I'm saying? If I catch the question, like, who else I want to see? Shit, it's a few motherfucking battles I want to see. You know what I'm saying? Now that I done got back into the shit and started back looking at it. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, so 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 you have been watching, you know the uh, the uh, PG niggas and shit. You you just mentioned, you know Ty Law's thing, so you are in tune with their battles and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, I'm in tune with my. I got I got three PG niggas in my in my brain that's going hard right now. Come on, come on. Like three PG niggas going hard right now. My nigga, uh, is mm-hmm. going hard. Ty Law mm-hmm. going hard. The Prez Max is yeah. going hard. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about Jay Ralph? Jay Rail smooth. Yeah. Like he ain't like you know what I'm saying, like I don't think they been on Jay Rail like they been on the three years. I just know, you know what I'm saying, but Jay Rail smooth, like it ain't like he's garbage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He nice though, he nice though. But yeah, man, that's all I got, man. Y'all have a good night, man. Niggas glad you back, man. All right. Yeah, so thanks for the call. All right, let's see. Let's go, uh seven seven three, you dead? <laughs> Seven seven three. Yeah, I'm here. You hear me? Yeah, what's good? Yep. Yo, what's good? We still got QP on the line. Both QP. Yeah, both QP. Yeah. Yes, y'all. All right, man. It took y'all a long time to get me on. Hey, I just want to say, hey, Twitter at Lord underscore Ace with a three. Hey, QP Detroit. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you, my nigga. Hey, 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 this is Chicago right here, 773, man. I just wanted to holler at you real quick. I got something to say to uh, uh, quantum physics over there, too. Hey, uh, so how that whole game circulation work out there, man? Because, you know, I'm from the city. It's a nice little uh, amount of factions of the Lords out here, man. I just wanted to know if y'all had, you know, a whole bunch of little, you know, unknowns and travelers and conservatives and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, like, I where he at. You know, I where he at. Like, you know, it's like, it's all blood and crips out there. Like, you know, you talking nation big and then, like, that's in, like, the Midwest. Uh, so, like, in Detroit. No, 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 big. no. Hey, hey, I'm from the city. I'm from the south. I'm saying out in the deep. Yeah, we do. Like, I mean, that's what I'm telling you. Like, it's just like Chicago. 
So it's a whole little, so hey, I ain't trying to promote no violence or nothing up here, people. I just wanted to know because I'm from the city. I see my man doing his thing with the rapping. Hey, but uh, quantum oh, physics, yeah. man, I just want Hey, I wanted to ask you real quick, man. Uh, I've been watching the Suns for a nice little minute, and I've seen a few different, little, you know, back and forth with uh, all the group things and that thing and all that. But and who are your top five out of all of the squads that punch? Team Punchline, uh, Innuendo, Suns. I mean, excluding yourself, I need a top five from you. Top five? Hmm, Heartless. Oh, yeah. You feel me? That's off top. My nigga Heartless. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, de- definitely my nigga Hunter Bullets, Newborn. You know what I'm saying? Uh, conceited, of course. You feel me? Because these, you know what I'm saying? Let me see. And then lastly, who's Team Punch on? Black Heart of Dinus? Well, they put it together. Now nah, I can't put him in my top five. Shout out to Black Heart of Dinus, though, for almost possibly making my top five. Uh, yo, yo, what happened with Black Heart, yo? Did you have a conversation with him? Because I know he came on the PG, like, fucked up badly, like, um. Black Heart was my nigga. He had so many bars. He was a real nigga. He came out to Cali every time I fucked with him. He was just a real nigga. I wanted to put him in. And Sons, he had got like, you feel me, it was like 19 of us Sons and shit at the time. So he had got 18 out of 19 consent. And then Conceded looked at him and said, nah, he says like too much. And I was just for the <laughs> nigga like that. Like the nigga had made it through 18 out of 19 Sons. And then Kyle took one look and said, nah, he says like too much. And I was just for the nigga like So, you know, they did the team punchline shit or whatever. It, it grew to what it was. But my nigga definitely got bars and he's super nice with it. And he a real nigga, so. Hey, so I, I can respect that. I, 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 hey, I. Hey, look, Brick, hey, hey, hey. Oh, fuck it, Bricks. I gotta get Bricks credit. Bricks is in my Yeah, I gotta get to him, man. I was gonna have to say, hey. Hey, but I want to ask you, man, would you, you know, y'all got the whole QP versus QP with the alphabets and that thing going. I was gonna ask you, would you, would you ever consider battling the nigga PC, man? He called himself Punchline Champion from, is he from the A or something? Yeah, we were talking about, we were, we were talking about, yeah, you don't gotta tell me about PC. We were talking about PC already, like, this, you know what I'm saying, like, he he is a funny character, nigga with bars. Like, yeah, we we fuck with PC, PC to the third letter or whatever. It may have to be so. Okay. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, hey, know, that kick back like, like a gay man snapping. Hey, that kick back like a gay man snapping was fire. I nigga, what did he say that against? Who? Against uh, on that uh, Auto- automatic, ray, automatic ray, automatic ray. Yeah, automatic ray. Word. I gotta, I gotta watch that full battle, my G. I, I usually watch one round of everything and then just keep it moving because I don't really got time. But yeah, I, I like, oh. we like PC, man. We fuck with punch man. Uh, I, I ain't fuck. gonna keep y'all, man. I'm, I'm a shorty and streaming and all that. I don't wanna mess up y'all show and all that. Hey, but keep doing y'all thing, man. QP. Hey, right. let them boys yeah, know you run the D out there, man. Hey, hey, QPs, yeah, you one of the best from the West, man. And you're going to have to get at that boy Daylight, though. I'm going to let y'all. <laughs> All right. Good looking, bro. All right. Y'all got time for one more? Yeah. However many yeah. you know, shit. Keep pumping. All right, let's go. Uh, 336, you there? Hello? Yeah. QP? Which one? Well, there's only one of them. Hey, and then this oh. another thing. Hold on, please, before you go. Oh. This is what I want to say. And make sure y'all get this on the show. <laughs> if you're going to comment on the fucking battle, don't get under the fucking battle and say, oh, yeah, I got to give this to QP. And then jump the fuck off. Please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is the most irritating shit like... in the fucking world. It's a hundred comments on that motherfucker that say, oh, yeah, QP won this. Which QP? The real one. Yeah, the real one. All right, so who's the real QP? You said there's only one QP. Who is it? Clean paper. On Twitter, I'm the real QP. Oh, yeah. I felt like I felt like the... Clean you know saying? Like you trying to, you, you trying to instigate, you trying to, oh, I see what you trying to do. You trying to spark the argument up right now? I ain't trying to spark the argument. That's what you trying to, cause, cause you feel me? Cause it, it can go there. You trying to, you trying to spark the battle argument up right now? Cause it, it can go there. You feel me? So y'all want to debate right now? Cause we ain't had no debate all night on what went on 
or what New York? Who you feel like won? Did you see it? Yeah, I, I watched it. I felt like so clean paper. Who like one? Clean paper. Detroit. Break, break it down though. Like we like to hear the breakdown. Okay, Q. Uh, quantum physics or whatever his name is, the Sun's QP. His style is sort of like, sort of like loaded luck. He used a bunch of wordplay and you know, and that's that's cool. But I like to hear. I like to hear that street stuff, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, can, you can have a million ways to say stuff, which is like, okay, but I like, I like this. I like this street stuff. That's just I what I like. I guess it's a thousand battles. Huh? I, guess, I guess it's a thousand battles out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, it, they, you know, they like that. Like some battles, like it depend on what you like, you know. What I'm saying? Yeah. So, like everybody be like, everybody be hating on Shotgun Sugar and Rosenberg, but the stuff they talk is not stuff that everybody be talking. Right. See, that's what I'm saying, man. Them two were my favorites. Who you just said? You feel me? Like I fuck with shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the type of shit I be on. I fuck with the Sugars and the Rosenbergs. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the type of shit I be on. You said something so that was like, over. You know, I think you said it in the third mm-hmm. round. You said, bitch, that mean the same thing. Because <laughs> he kept saying, he kept saying yeah, something yeah, like, you. his word was like, he repeated like three different ways. And I'm just glad somebody finally told him that because he is, this is, I'm like, okay, that means the same thing. He just said it three times the same way. That ain't hot? It's, it's all right, but I mean, it's like, it's sort of like slow it down. It's just how many different ways can you say something without it being okay? I've heard that before. Words, words. That's well, why. Hey, that's word. why. No, I hear you. So let's see. It ain't as hot as it used to be. No word. That's why. Word. word. Nah, no, you're right. He ain't hot. Here's a. That, that, what was that? That 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 does make sense. But like, so if I could run like a line by you, right, and then just let you take that line and do what you're gonna do with it. I, be, I bet you right now on, on national whatever kind of air this is that you're not going to be able to tell me what the meaning is before I slow it down on your ass and run it back for you. This is the reason why this shit was hot for so long before the city joined Wildin' Out and people started being disgusted with the fact that this short man is on Wildin' Out kicking it with Nick Cannon and now niggas want Jesus bars from the nigga. There's nothing we could do about it. You feel I me? Mean? Nothing we could do except be like, nigga, he's already on top of him. Fuck it, accept it or don't accept it, my nigga. But like, let's let's play a game. I'm gonna do the slow it down, okay? And then you you tell me what it is. You feel me? So that when I run it back, I want to ask you. And if, if you miss it, then you gotta respect what I do for my craft. Like this is why I came well, up with no, this no, shit. No, no, it ain't about with my it's nerdy not, ass. It's not that. It's just the point that like, okay, like. I'm like, saying the same shit three times, like you're saying. So that's, that's what I'm some, saying. Like, some, sometimes, that's you, like, some of the stuff you say is like, okay, yeah, that's hot. But, just, but then, like, if you do it ten times in one round, that's why, that's like with Bill Collector. Like, when QP said you you only good for a round and a half, he wasn't lying. Like, after the halfway through his second round, he was like, okay, the same thing, the same thing. It was like, yeah, you're one of the best writers. You know what I'm saying? You're probably up there with Lux and all of them. But it's like, okay. Okay, you know what? I can't. I can't even argue with you no more. I'm gonna take that because you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's okay. what I like, had on my plaque at the ball. When I saw him and argue with baby moms, I'd be like, well, "Bitch, I'm definitely this nigga with this pen shit." Do you see me? So when you see me sitting down writing, you better make sure it's quiet in here. Bring me my weed. Bring me my dinner plate, and you be quiet because I have one of the best pens in the in the world, baby. You understand? And, and the bad and the bad part about it is, we know your pen game is good enough where you don't have to do that. But it's like, okay, he, he kind of. It's like, okay, are you being lazy? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because we know that you can do different stuff, but it's just like, okay. That's just like, that's why QP was one of my favorites for so long. With well, the other QP, the Detroit QP, he was one of my favorites for so long because he actually, you know what I'm saying, he had everything. People were like, oh, well, he didn't do this. He got, he lost to B-Magic, okay, but he, he was more entertaining. I didn't watch that battle for B-Magic. I watched it because QP was entertaining. I'm not about just bars and performance. You gotta have a combination. I like it. I like gumbo. 
I'm from the South. I like everything. So if you're just doing <laughs> one thing, it's like, okay, this nigga boring. I'm Word. turning it. Word. That's why I like okay, so you, you can't take it. Okay, you can't take it. Okay, I see, I see, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. I definitely feel it. You can't take a little shrimp like me without the stew. I get it, my nigga. That's what's up, my nigga. Like, with me, you know what I'm saying? I respect that. Because, like, I, like, QP was one of my favorite performers, though. It's funny, though. If you look at the B Magic footage versus QP, if you look and zoom in very slowly at the end of QP's second round, you'd be like the real QP, nigga. And if you look in the back, you see Jay Fox wearing Fox apparel. My nigga looking like, ah, this nigga, you're real QP. Like, he thinks that I'm the real QP. But when I'm watching that footage, like, my nigga, I see what he did with B-Magic. Because B-Magic had bars all around. But he didn't beat Clean Paper. So that's when I realized that, yeah, battling Clean Paper ain't just about bringing bars, my nigga. You don't think I knew that before I battled the nigga? Like, the same respect that I have and, 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 you know what I'm saying, for him, like, it's the same respect he know for me. He knew I was bringing them bars. But he knew that I wasn't bringing a performance that's better than his. So we were basically the clash of the titans in there. What angle you want? What you want, my nigga? You want you want a suite at the higher, you want a suite at the western, my nigga? Which one do you want? Because we all got preference over here. We got the mini bar over at the left over here, but we also got room stuff. So you feel me? So it's just more like, what do you want? So I respect hey, you, you, your opinion. It's good, hey, my nigga. Hey, you ain't the window, right? You the, basically the leader of the window. Why is it that you are the nah, only nah, person? Nah, 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 nah. Nigga, Negative, no, 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 yeah, run that, yeah, stop that immediately, because then you make niggas want to leave in your window. Cause, no, I'm not the leader in your window. My nigga. Oh, okay. The originator. If you're, you're so one like, of the, yeah. 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 Why are you the only one in your window ball. that really has performance? Okay, why doesn't nobody in your window have performance? So you telling me that Fred's yeah. Mafia don't got performance? You telling me that Clean Paper don't got performance? Them niggas both got performance. And them niggas both in your window. So I'm confused with what you're talking about right now. Oh, like, Clean okay, Paper's newborn is... I did not is, even know that. It's laid back. What'd you say? Clean Paper's in the window? Well, well, you can't even say You can't even say it. I can't even continue this conversation with you. said Clean Paper in the window. Nigga, he's not. Nah, listen. I didn't say that. I said that, you feel me, Prez Mafia is in your window. So what did you say that nobody got performance in your window? Well, I mean, it's like, Bonnie, she has great bars. But but even even angry fans said it. It's like a lot of, most of the people in the window have problems. I got to cut you off. I got to cut you off. I got to cut you off like suede, severs, braids. What are you left with? Angry fans. Now, all I'm saying, my nigga, is like, please do not get that man no airtime on this globally known show for that local act. Please don't do that, my nigga. Like, it's just like, it, all it's going to do is end up with him with a pickaxe, with a rake, a shovel, swinging it at his, I don't know, what is, what high definition that is. That's like, that ain't 480 and it ain't 720. That nigga got that 545, my nigga. So with that being said, my nigga, like, I don't know. My G, like, like, let's not give angry fan no spin, but the, but the rest of that shit we could trap on. Like, yeah, we all got bars, my nigga. When innuendo was formed, guess what it was? It was, it, it was a lot of they singing the niggas when we got this nigga. Like, look, we was like, lot of stop singing, okay? Now, stop singing and stop putting nigga on the end of your bars, and you're going to be dope because you already got bars. It was like, new porn, my nigga. Like, you, you got super swag, my nigga. You got bars, like, take out the generic shit and stop choking. Newborn did all that, and he came up with the revamp shit. We like, Bonnie, 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 Bonnie. Flat iron your hair and stop wearing blazers in the battle. And you already got bars, and we're going to go ahead and add a little look. And then look at Bonnie. Bonnie's on top of the world. 100 bullets, you know what I'm saying? Keep being 100 bullets, my nigga. We don't care if you square. Just like we don't care if Heartless is square. Just keep coming with punch after punch after punch, and you're going to be our punchline nigga for the crew. Like, everybody that's in your window, my nigga, is winning dough right now. We all get at least a stack of battle. And we get paid to do this shit. So, like, if you see a nigga like Remy, if you see a nigga that fuck with me, then come kill me. Like, Clean killed me. If Clean is in your window after he killed me, understand that's because the nigga's still trying to win dough, my nigga. So he won, but in the end, he's trying to win dough. Niggas win and then lose. No, niggas ain't trying to lose no more, my nigga. That's all I'm saying. So, like, everybody that's in your window, Remy, tell these niggas, my nigga. Uh, nigga, we comfortable. We actually comfortable. <laughs> this nigga even talking like, slow down. My bad. I just, I just came in here, but I just had to just make sure my guys are like, we, like, man, we've been in St. Louis, man, we, we're, like, really on tour right now as battle rappers on all the same cause, man, this, this power moves, like, I've been, I've been hollering business since I started, before it was the you gonna get this work, I was hollering business, and, like, it's coming to fruition. I don't even mean to talk shit, but is that y'all yeah, yeah, niggas comfortable with Hennessy in there? It's very, is the blunt going around, man? It's like it's blunt, like we good. Like 
I was just coming there because like we had even doing this interview for a little minute, but we in St. Louis right now, and this is we good. I get this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back, back to the half a pound, man. I ain't fuck rib. My nigga, so I don't know, my G. That's that's it. I forgot what the question was at this point, my nigga. But yeah. I mean, and you went though, like you said, the Let's Let's Got performance, but we got Fred's Mafia with performance. We got we got everybody pretty much working on delivering the shit. Like not, not like we're reading it on paper, but more like we talking to the people. And yeah, we don't always have educated bars in our shit because why would we just give y'all the street shit when we trying to give y'all the other shit too? Like we'll give you the street shit and the gig shit, nigga. That's that streak shit because you when you go on that wind streak, my nigga, you feel me? You already knew it. You already knew it. With win streak, knew it, knew it. Look, I'm I'm done with this shit. But we we on to the next shit yet yeah, or not, my nigga? What's good? This shit, real shit, my nigga. <laughs> and the sprint server is getting it done right now. These niggas sick. Yeah, you got we good. Um, we good. We still on? Yeah, I'm about yeah, we still on. I was about to ask you, y'all got anything y'all want to promote or whatever before we get out of here? Oh, oh, it's over with. Damn. Uh, I'm going to let Clean get to her first. And then we're going to see it. Clean as hell makes take on me. So, uh, shout out to uh, Cartel. Send me your Cartel. Mm -hmm. Shout out to everybody. Tune in and watch the battle. You feel me? Shout out to all the supporters. And shout out to uh, faggot ass haters, too. And you know who you are. Yes, fuck nigga. I'm talking to you. <laughs> right there. Uh, um... Shit, that's about it. And shout out to Battle Rap Arena. You feel me? Like y'all fuck ass hate mass radio shows out there who hating on Battle Rap Arena. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Fuck y'all niggas. And that's what it is, <laughs> nigga. And I ain't got shit else to say, nigga. Hey. Hey, hey, is this why I battle I mean, this remedy. Hey, is this why I thought the North that? Yep, yep, same show. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I, the problem is that Norbs is not on the show right now, fam. Oh, He's caught up right now. No. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, no. I'm not. Finna, I'm not finna like talk all crazy because he's not on the phone. But um. Uh, oh, Norbs, you was wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a lot of people in St. Louis don't. No, no, you, you was wrong, bro. Like when we last it's talked, and I ain't get back at you, but like, you know, like y'all. Yeah, like, like. Also, he don't talk about that on his own time. Nigga, we about to get the fuck up out of here, nigga. You already know. <laughs> nah, hey, no, 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 real shit, real shit, no, 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 shit. Shout out Black Eye Syndicate Cartel. John Doe, my nigga turned niggas that stars that was fucking up back into stars and there's so much more, my nigga. Like, I promise you, like, real shit. Like, if you look at newborn shit after Black Ice, you look at Danger Zone shit after Black Ice, you feel me? Look at me and QP shit during Black Ice, you feel me? So, like, that's, that's that nigga, you feel me? Shout out to Black Ice, you know what I'm saying, herself, the host of this shit. Like, man, that shit crazy right now. Like, you got to see a nigga's Twitter or a nigga's Facebook and all that shit, the shit retarded, so. Uh, uh, shout out, Gorilla Scratch, Money Hog Gang, uh, SONS in your window, BCO Apparel, uh, Double Up, you know, my music company, you know what I'm saying, Purple Rain Gang, my nigga Clean Paper, I mean, nigga, I mean, shit getting crazy right now, so, uh, shout out URL Battle Rap Arena for having us on this thing, you know what I'm saying, we really appreciate y'all, and then, you know what I'm saying, we're gonna, we're gonna bring y'all some more classy shit, so, that was up, we looking forward to it, too. I, uh, uh, you are real. Oh, no. Yeah, he, he, he shot out his shit already. Oh, that was Remedy. Yeah, that was Remedy? Yeah, we did it. I mean, purple. Yeah, that was Remedy. Purple Rain Gang. Oh, go ahead, Kippy. Purple. Clean paper, all about the money, green paper, purple Rain Gang, hat squad. You feel me? Deal with it. DWI. So this <laughs> week, get your bag right, gang. Detroit stand up, you already know what it is. Like I said, clean as hell coming soon. I'm about to tip y'all to that Detroit shit. And my nigga B Magic is nice on the camera. Shout out to that nigga, cause that nigga just shot my last video. Right. That bitch is nice as fuck. Shout right. out B Magic. Shout out B Magic on the camera work. If y'all niggas want videos, yeah. Yeah, fuck with my nigga. Shout Marcus, out to the Arts, nigga. And shout out to uh, John Doe, too. He shot a video for me in Milwaukee, too. Crazy camera work. So y'all niggas want that good camera work for y'all battles. Like, my nigga B-Magic is out here shooting <laughs> shit up. 
That's what's up. Oh, Shout out my nigga Louis and Arch Louis St. Louis to them. That's it. We ain't gonna run y'all time down, man. Yeah. Thanks for coming on, man. We you know, we appreciate it, man. Y'all y'all niggas be easy out there. Y'all know I know what y'all been doing all show long. I've been hearing y'all back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we oh, yeah. we fuck with y'all niggas, niggas good looking, you know what I'm saying? Anytime, nigga, y'all already know who I'm calling for the motherfucking interview first, nigga, y'all want niggas battle rap for me, nigga, we all let you niggas. All right. Got some time. Yup. Got some time. All right, thanks. thanks for coming on. You are real battle rap arena. Check us out tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks to Clean Paper and Quantum Physics, both for coming on and joining us tonight. We out. Smack!